Ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, I am indeed alive, but this is what happens when a dog calls. We've been on the phone for like an hour, so apologies. Violet, code in. Soji Sakata, Genshin Impact mode. All right. That's a little better. Been a while since I've been talking to Violet. I need to get back to that. Her and I have been so used to communicating non-verbally. I uh, need to get back to it. But good to see you again, everybody. It's been a far too long. I have been busy, busy, busy. I've been building Anby. Fun fact, her fuel tank is rusted out and I need a new one. Yay. Uh, pardon me, I just ate. And, uh, ooh, food's still trying to settle a little bit. Uh, so, fun fact... I've discovered I what I believe the cause of all my headaches and my some of my physical ailments. Uh, I do think I still need a little bit of light dental work. I think I do still have one tooth giving me some trouble. Uh, but I think a lot of part of my headaches and stuff that are causing me most of like my quality of life issues are actually being caused by sinus pressure. I clean my ears out and I feel a lot better. So I'm going to try to go to an ear, nose, and throat specialist instead of a... Well, I'm going to go to a dentist as well to have my other tooth checked. Uh, I may need one last root canal. I don't know yet. But the sinus pressure has helped me feel a ton better. And uh, there's been a bunch of evidence pointing as to why that I didn't understand. I've had all these symptoms that didn't tie together until I cleaned my ears and sinus pressure came up as a topic. And I'm like, wait, that explains everything. I googled it, and yeah, pretty much everything I'm reading is exactly what I have, so. Time will tell. We may be, uh, back in the game, though, so. Welcome back to Streaming Live. It's been over a week now, I think. I apologize for being gone so long, but I have been getting shit done. Uh, we have, uh, I have Diesel, our awesome friend, who is currently commissioned to work on my new logo, so I have a channel logo coming very, very soon. Um, as soon as, basically, she can get to working on it, she does have other commissions in the way at the moment. Uh, I told her I am not in that big of an emergency for it, so um, I don't want to rush her. She is an amazing and talented artist, and good art cannot be rushed. So I am just going to patiently wait and, you know... Let her do her thing. I'm sure she's going to do an amazing job, just like she did on my uh, my livery for my NASCAR and iRacing. And she's awesome about that kind of stuff. So I definitely don't want to... Uh... What's, what's the... Whoa. Why am I over there? I joined a Discord call, but that shouldn't be there. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Okay, that's gone now. I forgot my PNG tuber model is still on. Ah, but yeah, so I'm going to let her do her thing. Hopefully it'll be ready soon, but I'm not going to be pushing that. It'll uh, get done when it gets done. But when it gets done, I will be taking one night off to add that to my new um, start screen. So the start screen is going to be changing. We got new stream music. When I implement all this, we'll have new wait music. We will have new opening music. We will have new everything music. All of the synth wave is going to be replaced um, because it's... Let's be real, it's been over two years, and it's getting tired, and I need some fresh material. I have also made sure that it is not going to be DMC-free, or DMCA-free music, um, just like the generic instrumental stuff. I have found actual music artists that, it's not music made for me, but it is music that has been basically certified that they say, hey, any music we have is allowed to be used, it is completely DMCA-free, but it is actual, proper, like, lyrics and melody, you know, rap music, Eurobeat, whatever. I found real artists who make some real music and not just this generic DMCA-free YouTube stuff. Super stoked for that. Um, if you want a sneak peek, I will be doing... I will be using mostly, I think exclusively actually right now, music from the artist Crypt, as well as um, Odyssey Eurobeat. So, super stoked for that. That's why we do have a vulgar language tag now um, on this stream, because now I can say fuck, and I don't have to worry about it. And also, because I can play their music and not get in trouble. So, that's that. We got new 
overlays, we got new openings, weights. Um, the clothes one I'm still working on, but without my logo, I can't do a whole lot with it. Um, so... No, I take that back. I did those already. I take, I'm not using the logos on those. I forgot. I got around that. I got around that. So, but yeah, all of that's done. Super stoked about all of that. Um, my throne is updated. So if you type into my thing, I think my throne link still works. It does work. I better click that link and make sure it works. It works. Yay. Yay. So yes, I have all of my throne equipment, or all my throne thing is up and running. So if you feel the kindness in your heart to donate or whatever, it is up and working now, which is super, super dope. Um, as of right now, I do not have a way to donate um, a cash directly to me. I have to open a business PayPal, and I am not a business. So I'm kind of stuck there right now. I can't really find a way for you guys to donate to me yet. Um, I am. I did promise I was working on that, and I am. Um, at the moment, what I'm going to do is basically, if you wish to donate to me, I am going to add a... I have currently on my Throne account a Amazon gift card option. And basically, I buy... a crap load of stuff on Amazon because I can get it there. I can get things there I can't get anywhere else, which is super handy. Um, so if you wish to donate, rather than um, just giving you a donation link, what I'll ask is, you know, hey, I'd like to donate X amount. Well, I will go into my throne real quick, adjust that uh, Amazon gift card to be that amount, and then you can just, uh, you know, go through the gift card on throne. So that's the best way I've figured out to do it right now. You'll just have to let me know if you wish to donate. And then, you know, I will go in and adjust it on Throne real quick, and then you can donate right to the uh, gift card on Throne. So that's the best way I've found to do that so far. We are back on the old non-moving overlay for um, PC resources because I don't feel like stressing my computer out all the time. Nice. Okay. So... Let me get this. Uh, we're back to playing Genshin again because I need to get back into this. It's been far too long. Uh, is there all browser 4K? Okay, we're going to move this. Uh, no, no, I want that back there. Yeah, yeah, I want that. There. Okay, so we're going to go there. Oh, that's why. Okay, I need to hide that for a minute. Been a while since I had to window capture Genshin. Back to get you back to Genshin. Haven't played that game in so long. Yes, I am finally getting back to Genshin. Um, I know that's Monk's account. Am I actually talking to you, or is this Miyuki on uh, your husband's account now? <laughs> I never know when I see that name if it's actually you or if it's Miyuki on your account. Yeah, actually me. She's on her account in Darkwing's chat. Ah, okay, that makes sense. I was wondering. Like I said, I never know between the two of you, so... But yes, I am back to playing some Genshin. Uh, it's been far too long since I've been playing it, and, you know, it's just a good time, and it's been... Like I said, I, I want to get back to a game I love, so... I needed a break from it for quite a while, though. I was just so burned out on it. And it's like, yeah, something had to give, so... Oh! One massive change to Genshin that I have had to uh, take care of. We are running on the Japanese voiceover. I have left the game in English mode for uh, text and like things like that, subtitles, because I don't speak any other language. However, in support of the voiceovers or the voice actor and actresses strike um, over the dispute of them using AI. Uh, voices in this game. I am running the Japanese voice actors and actresses and not the English ones. So it's going to sound a little weird as we've never played with these before. Um, you know, we don't really speak Japanese here. So 
Um, that's going to be a little bit of a different thing, but it'll be a cool getting to experience the Japanese VAs for a change. Outside of that, what do we have that's new? I don't know. Ooh, Mavuika. All right. Uh, whoops, I forgot the other side of it, the events. Oh, right, subservers. Whoops. Oh, hello, Sadie. Hey, um, I'm not streaming it. I'm going to go for one more ladder match in Armored Core and then start streaming. Okay, uh, cool news. Uh, you don't actually have to go through and, um, like, shrink everything in, uh, or, like, uh, not shrink. I'm shrinking the uh, thing right now. Uh, you do not have to go and exit the game and enter it again just to get the, uh, whoa. The sound pack? Yeah, it downloads in the start menu. We're good. Okay. All right, then. So, yeah, just so you know, you can save a little bit of time. It just asks you, would you like to download this voice pack? I clicked yes, it downloaded the voice pack. And then um, when I got it all downloaded, it said, would you like to use this voice pack? I said, yes. And it turned it on. So it was as easy as that. I still haven't done Fontaine. Dude, me either. I haven't been... I'm finishing... Um, um, yeah, that. The thing. I'm finishing... Uh, the fuck they call it? Sumeru is where I'm at right now. God, my, wow, my PC is laggy. You can tell it hasn't played this game in a hot minute. Alright, I am somewhere in BFE Natlin. Um, where are my dailies? Where are my... It's, God, it's been... Oh, here's my main quest marker. Okay. Or Toast to Victory. Okay. Wait. You feel surprisingly calm after waking up again in bed facing the rising sun? I thought we were in Sumeru, not Inazuma. I get nothing for that joke, Sadie. Sorry, I'm kind of, I'm kind of focused too much on the match right now. It's ladders, so. So take the stairs. It's faster. It's ranked. It means it's ranked. I would be pretty ranked too if I had to play against all those sweats. Yeah, and I'm one of them. You know the alternate definition of ranked, right? What the? Oh, right. Like, <laughs> this high-pitched girl's voice came out of Jinyan. I'm used to Laura's much more deep alto tone of, you know, Jinyan's southern draw. I forgot I'm using the JP voice pack right now. <laughs> that freaked me out for a minute. I'm like, what the fuck? Why do I have a new avatar? Oh, it's Kachina. Ooh, that was close. So, I'm not going to get political here, Sadie, but I will say I learned something about uh, politics during the election that I thought was interesting. Okay. Um, the, uh, I did not know that your local coroner was an elected position. I had to vote on local... I had to vote on coroner. I was going to say, does it make you feel dead inside the moment that you got into the polls? <laughs> No, I had I, I was dead inside the moment I had to think about politics. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I did not know, like, okay, I get... You know, there are certain things, like, I knew clerk of courts was a um, an elected position and stuff, which, uh, I mean, kind of makes sense. I, yeah, I, Being that I buy cars, you know, somewhat frequently, um, I am very familiar with the name of our local cl clerk of courts because it's on every title envelope I get from the title office. So I'm like, okay, there are things that I expected. What I didn't expect, um, like I said, okay, you know, positions like that, um, I had to vote on our new sheriff here in our county. Our, our county is getting a new sheriff this year, um, uh, as our old one is retiring, finally. He's been in the office for a very long time, and he's ready to retire now. So I actually had to go and vote in the primaries, because both of 
Imagine that. I live out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, both of our local uh, sheriffs were running on the Republican ballot. If you have two people running on the same party, they have to be voted for in the primaries. There was no other... There was no Demo uh, Democrat candidate for sheriff. So the primary vote was the vote. And not only about half the people knew that. They came into the polls, you know, this November, and they're like, where's the other option for sheriff? And they're like, yeah, he lost in March. <laughs> Weird. I got told I pulled out a Soji joke in Darkstream. I felt proud. Yes! What? Jo Tell me the joke, monk. I want to know. And hello, Kitten Shop. Welcome in. Why do I not have a chat box? What the hell? I apologize. I'm using a different scene in OBS right now. And it is messing with stuff a bit. Hey, I'm, I'm going to say There's this my right chat! Now. I fixed hey, it! I'm going, yeah. I'm going to go say something. Sure. So, you know the info that I shared to you about, like, uh, really cursed info about the... Uh, well, there was a video. I already shared you the video about that guy dipping his Pop-Tarts in ranch. Oh, God, yes. This was horrible. Yes, Meowdy Kitten Shop. How you doing? So, there's... I know this YouTuber, unfortunately, because he, he drinks as his content because people are tell him, telling him to put this X and X and make it into a shop. Oh, yes, right? I've seen I've seen clips of this guy where they'll tell him, like, yeah. you know, uh, it, he'll they'll have him, like, making, I don't, uh, fuck, I don't know, uh, fucking drink, pilk uh, or whatever. Drink, yeah, so uh, his name is One Big Pikey. And unfortunately, I came across as one of his older videos of him dipping his Kit Kat in ketchup. I feel like that wouldn't be as egregious as a pop tart and ranch. Ketchup, well, it is a slightly acidic thing. Ketchup is a sweet acid, whereas chocolate is very much a sweet base. So, uh, man, you know, I can look, see where that. Man. I don't think those would be as bad. Look, look. I I already am. I'm using my eyes. There's so much you could do, man. Yeah, but I have no game, so I can't do pretty much anything. Stop shitting on me, please. I'm not shitting on you. I'm shitting on me. Who's my... Oh, it's Navia. Uh... Why is someone following a random VRC gorilla? I genuinely don't know. She was working on trying to get some donut earrings on his character. I said something like, you donut want to have to grind for that donut ring, huh? My man, I love it. That's my kind of joke, yes. Someone if if you weren't so far away, I'd give you a high five. Someone following the... the uh, VRC Gorilla. Uh, VRC Gorilla. Yes. I suppose that's... I actually don't know what a VRC gorilla is. I will. Just I keep thinking v nope. VCR gorilla, and I'm like, that just sounds like a gorilla. Actually, I know exactly what a VCR gorilla is. That's the gorilla that was playing the drums in uh, in the air tonight by Phil Collins' uh, music video. I, I'm just gonna go say this: it's just a straight up gorilla that's in VR chat. He just goes. This is a Japanese gorilla that goes in VR chat. Okay, uh, weird. And this is one of his hit tweets. Oh, oh, Dia's JP voice is hot. She, it's, it's like, it's like the Japanese dami mommy thing. Uh, let me see. Dia's voice is very raspy, and so is, uh, so is Candace's. So I'm gonna have to check her out. I see you're playing the Shin of Gen. Yes, and I'm getting to re-experience all new voice lines because due to the voice actor and actress strike. So, all right, all right, so... Yeah, more like voice candies! Of, nice try, voice, Monk. Uh, voice actress uh, Ayaka Fukuhara. Uh, you might have an attraction to... Uh, Lou, Rin Shibuya, Sayaka Igarashi, Anastasia Palma, Yoko, Greya, Chika, Kao Kizaki... Kamiya, Hotaro Rindo, Veronica Thorne, Miharu, Alessiana Ogata, Ray, and Bismarck. Sadie, I watch anime and dubs. Uh, well, Bismarck from uh, that one. Ajur Lane. 
Yes. Yes, it's also an anime, but I've also only watched that in dub. All right, well, I, some all, of them, all of them are basically dummy mommy slash big sister rules. I'm going to have to... Uh, can you send me that list later? Uh, but it's a photo, so... Yeah, send me that. Send me that. I need to type all those into a particular yellow website. Green. Green, green website, not yellow. It's green on me. Green on... What? What the hell are you talking... Okay, it's not the yellow website. It's the green website. There's a green website? Yeah, it's it's literally an image board. It's the image board. It's the image board. It, it, it's the one that says it's, .net. It's associated with a particular rule. Yes, it's green. I didn't know that was... Cons I didn't know that was green. Yeah. I never go to that one. I always go to the one that's, uh, you know, mostly run by a dude. You know, he, he might be into a, a particular type of content, and he's a dude, and that's him.com, you know? Yeah, but that's not... Okay, the, 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 the actual image board ends with a .net. It's the rule .net. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the actual image board. That's the original uh, image board. Uh, I don't know any of these other characters except for Bismarck. Yeah. Uh, for Candace, I, I'm just interested on in some of these Chinese, uh, Japanese VAs. Uh, well, if you have Risley's, I do not have Risley. Uh, you may, you may know, you may know his, uh, you may know his official roles for Rise for Risley. Um, uh, Risley's are really iconic because of the fact that they are, they are these characters. One of them being Jota Rakujo. <laughs> So I'm trying to listen to some of these, and I can't decide, like, Hu Tao's I feel like is really good. Sethos sounds a little strange, though. Okay, no, that, that, that voice line is way better for... The first line I got was not good for him. Let's try Navia. I expected her to have a lower voice than that. Uh, Akito Saki. Uh, she is Blossom's JPBA for Powerpuff Girls. Huh. Um, God, Jinyan's is even higher than Navia's. That's weird. I am not used to Jinyan having a high-pitched voice. Uh, ooh, yes. Kitten Shop says, uh, I'm guessing that was me like Yai Miko. I have Yai. What does she sound like in Japanese? Oh, Yai Miko's fucking hot. Oh. 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 She has the cute Japanese... Why is it... I really like... The cutesy, like, high voice that a lot of Japanese voice actresses do is is cool. But I really like when uh, there are, like, a deeper voice Japanese girl. Uh, oh, I, that I, works I, so well with I, their I, language. I, okay, Ayane Sakura. Uh, Ayane Sakura. That's, uh, that's Yaimiko's JP voice actress. Okay. Uh, she is Uradaka from My Hero Academia. Really? Weird. Yes. I wonder what... Hang on. Uh, let me... I'm going to go quiet for a minute. I want to listen to a couple of these. Yeah, that's protagonist energy. I expect as much from the Traveler. What about Jean? That's actually really good. She reminds me of Enterprise, but that's kind of her personality, so I like that. Kokomi, I really think... I like how her English VA is kind of flighty. Uh, Chiwa Sato, voice of Jean from Genshin, also voices Homura from uh, Madoka Magica. I watched Madoka Magica once in my life, and I'm trying to unremember all of it. I fucking she's hate that also, show. She's also Kudo from Fate uh, Kalein. Uh, or Fate Prisma Ilya, the lesbian chick. I don't have the time enough in my day to dedicate to trying to unravel the mysteries of the fate verse and spend at least four hours a day deciphering what order they're supposed to be watched in, so I don't know much about fate. Okay, uh, Francesca from Strike Witches? I have actually, Strike Witches? I actually own Strike Witches, but I have never watched uh, all but maybe two episodes of it. I need to watch most of it. Yeah, she's no, I, Francesca. Mine's a English dub. Okay. 
Again, I watch uh, if I watch with subtitles, it gives me really bad headaches. All right. So, who else are you curious for? Um, I'm just trying to listen to them right now, so I can hear. Let me check uh, my usual crew here. What about Kirara? Kirara's JP voice actor. Oh, she sounds like a. Kirara is seriously good. She has that like cute kitten energy. I like that. Kirara's voice roles include. She's Sayumi Sujihiro. Uh, let's see. She's K from Kaguya Sama's Love Is War. Uh, okay. Noah from Blue Archive. Again, uh, none of because these you are the one J from Azure Lane. Well, uh, oh, is she in Azure Lane. Yeah, KMS U one hundred one. KMS U one hundred one. Yep. The fuck is that? That's uh, not any of the ships. That must be a siren. Uh, that's a German submarine U one hundred one. That must be from the game. All I watched was the anime. I've never played a. I've never played yeah, a moment of Azure Lane the game. I only watched the anime. Do you watch High Score Girl? No. Well, keep in mind, I'm not going to know any of these people because I've never watched any Japanese dubs. Uh, but yeah, uh, what else does she have on her? Same Ooh, hang on a second. I want to hear what Raiden and Muolani sound like. Oh, 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 oh Raiden is good. She sounds slightly disinterested. But she's also low, which I like. That's perfect. Raiden, all oh, the Yandere oh, characters oh, oh. have to be good. Oh, Anime okay. Night when? All right, all right, uh, all right. So Raiden, Sh yeah. Raiden Shogun is voiced by none other than Miyuki Sawashiro. She also voices Shino, Asad Shino Asada from Gun Gale, Stealthy Sterlison from, uh, Sterlison from uh, Duradara, Kurapika from Hunter x Hunter. Um, let's see who else is pretty notable here. There's a lot. He, yeah, she has a really good portfolio. She has a really big portfolio. Ooh, Kitten Shop. I know Miyuki Shoshiro. Kitten Shop says Anime Night when? Uh, I would love to host an Anime Night. I have tried to hold some... Uh... Oh, hello, T-Bold. I missed your message. Hello, Jolene hello. Kujo from, yeah, Jolene Kujo from JoJo's. Um, let's see who else... Uh, but yeah, I've tried to hold anime nights before Kitten, and it nobody really showed up for them. So uh, I would love to host some stuff if people want to. If we maybe we can, I'll try to make an announcement in the. I'll try to make an announcement in the Discord, and I will see if maybe we can get some something set up. That'd be awesome. Yes, hello by the way, T Bold. I totally missed your message earlier. Thank you for stopping in. I apologize. I missed your message. There was a lot going on and. I'm trying to read chat and respond and talk to Sadie all at once, and sometimes I miss a message now and then. I apologize. Be this. Thank you for stopping in. Ooh. Well, she's she's also Fujiko Mine from Lupin the Third. Don't know that show. Uh, hang on. I know she appeared in. How about Ningguang? That's really good too. Most of these VAs are really well cast. I, I told you. Here's the reason why. And I say this, Japanese voice acting coalition is a really good union, and they make sure that they they pay they're paid. Oh, um, that's I, right. They cast well too. Yeah. Uh, what about Beto? Oh, I didn't think about Beto. Where's Beto? I don't use Beto. She's down here. Oh yeah, she's Ami good. Koshi she's Ami Koshimizu. Uh, I think she also has a pretty big portfolio. Let me go check. Ooh, here's Candace. Ami Koshimizu. That's really good. That's uh, really she good. also... Uh, hang on. She's Miyabi in Zenless Zone Zero. I haven't met her yet. Um, Yukiko Amagi in Persona 4. Never played any Persona. Uh, let's see here. Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Moon Crystal. What? What was that one? Sailor Jupiter and Sa uh, Sailor Moon Crystal. Uh, never watched the JP dub. JP dub of Yang Xiao Long in Ruby. Really? Yep. 
Actually, I can kind of believe that. Yang is a deeper voice character. My Shiranui from KOF. I don't know that show. King of Fighters, it's a video game. Don't know that game either. Oh, oh, and do you know this one? Ryuko Matoi. She's... Wait, 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 wait. Beidou's VA in this... Japanese VA in this game is Ryuko's VA. Yes. In, Jap in Japanese. Yes. You found her new main in Japanese. <laughs> oh, I hear it now. You are going to raise Beidou, are you? I can kind of hear Ryuko's voice in that. That's amazing. That's cool as hell. No, because I already have good electro characters and I don't need Beidou, but that does make you me... Don't know, you, you don't know how to... You don't know how Beidou works, don't you? I know nothing about Beidou other than she's a pirate oh, no. and she's electro claymore. No, and I already exactly. have two claymores on my team. So, she has... Actually, I have three claymores on my team. Okay. Which is right. a problem. Okay, here's the thing. She is a perfect parry character. You hold her skill. On what? Uh, the lower your HP, the more damage she gets. The more that you perfect parry, the the moment that you perfect parry something, and it goes for a swing. Imagine her HP percentage percentage loss, right? Yeah. On a perfect parry, times seven her damage. That would be great if I had any sense of the word timing, which I don't. Yeah. She's busted, if you know how to work with her. But yeah, who else are you curious by? Uh, I mean, those are all the big ones, I think. Like I said, a lot of these I don't know the JPVAs of, because I've never watched any of the, uh, any dubs or anything like that. I just don't... That's not something I really know about very much. You don't, you don't know... Yeah, that I mentioned to you. I'm just like saying, yeah, she's she's freaking Ryuko Matoi. That's her. that is sick. Whoa, what the hell? Oh right, this is that new character that I didn't get because I wasn't playing. Oh, okay, so she's also. What is this Yuki Smash Bros. Bros ass music? Oh, this is the. Okay, that makes sense. So who's on the banner? I don't have a wish thing updated. So it's Hu Tao and Nahida. Hey, hey I'll, be, I'll be back later, okay? I need to... I need to not be back later. I'll need to deafen myself, okay? Okay, later. Just... No, no, no. I'll, I'll deafen myself. I'll still be in the call. No, I know. I lost my 50-50 and got Jean. Oof, that's unfortunate. I have no wishes and no primos. I'm screwed right now. Uh, Beto, best girl, can't English? All good. We've all been there before. Uh, sorry you lost your 50-50. Jean's a good character, though. I'm just happy I finally have, uh... I'm just happy I finally have Dia. I hope I get to go back to Windbloom and meet Dia's VA next time. I got to meet Jinyan's VA. Uh, this, she's voiced by Laura Stahl. And I actually got to, uh, have... Laura autograph my real life Jinyan guitar that I built, which I'm super proud of. And I got to I got to meet Laura in full Jinyan cosplay, which was so cool. I built that guitar and I have one now forever, and it's awesome, and it lights up, and I'm so happy. Hell yes. Sub Zeru's. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. I don't need Mora, so I'm good. Alright, let's knock out these dailies. Defeat the 13 monsters.
Light them up. I think that's the only one left. Navy, I'll load them up. Full shot. Dia, alt. God, she's cool. You ever do Spiral Abyss stuff? Oh, you got her too? That's awesome, kitten. And no, I have done some Spiral Abyss. Um, just not very much of it. I'll show you what I've got. I am currently floor 7, chamber 3. I do that off stream just to, like, grind a little bit, but I don't hardly ever touch it. It's, uh, not great. I'm not very good with it, so I don't mess with it too awful much. I'm afraid. Have you heard father's voice lines? Who's that? Why am I getting pings? What's going on on Discord? But no, I, I don't know who father is or what their voice lines are. <sighs> I am afraid I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Wow. My stomach be turning. Meal was good, but I ate it way too fast. I scarfed it because I was trying to eat while I was talking to A-Dog. Fun fact, A-Dog is in Arizona right now. Man's on a vacation. Oh, Arcalino. No, I have not really heard much of Arcalino. I haven't met her in story yet, and I don't have her. So I'm kind of stuck. Oh, they're over here. Okay. Up dog is better than a dog. I beg to differ. A dog is well. Not only is he a mythical part of legend on this channel, but he is genuinely probably my best real life friend. Like in digitally, I'd say probably Miyuki is my best friend. Her and I know each other better than probably anybody. But in terms of, like, people I, I know from real life and not online, A-Dog probably takes that title there. Oh, there they are. I see the guide markers. A-Dog is definitely uh, one of probably the... He is my longest uh, friend in the world. I'm getting another ping. What happened? It's a ping in Sadie's server. Oh, she went live. That's why. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, God. My head hurts tonight. Oh, power on through it, right? Oh, really? Alright, big fella. Game on. I'm 
I'm soaring, flying. I hate that I know this song from that stupid movie. But my sister watched it endlessly. Oh shit, I don't have an archer and I need an archer. Ah, uh, sorry, Dia, I gotta kick you for a minute. Set those in. Damn it. There, I got it. All right. Japanese is a very fast language to speak. Like, it. You have to, like, say so many things so fast. Go there, that'll work. I forgot I probably don't actually have to do these dailies. With the new daily system in this game, I probably didn't have to worry about this. Yeah, I'm heading the right way. I forgot I haven't heard Shinobu yet. She should kind of sound kind of a little bit passive, but also no nonsense. <laughs> hmm? Can I add you in Genshin? Yes, of course. Yeah, please do. I, I am all for having more friends in Genshin that we can team up with. I'm going to be doing story mode tonight, so I won't be able to play, like, in a lobby with you. Uh, but please, yes, add me on uh, Friends. I'll check out your profile and stuff. My cocoa fish is buff. Nice. Okay, I'm on now, by the way, Sergi. Yep, I saw. Okay. What's the question, Kofi? Oh, I don't know why it censored that. Alright, what do I want to hit first? Portia spotted, absolutely Portia. Hell, I was gonna see if I could hop in you. Okay, no, you're fine. You can hop in my session. Oh, the fucking VC, okay. Uh. Hey, Sochi, can you do me a favor? As long as it's not too big. It's not. Uh, can you just invite <laughs> Pilky plays from your uh, Pilky plays from my server to yours? Uh, He's also a car guy. They're already here. Oh, okay. <laughs> they just joined the I was call. Gonna say. They, I think they've already been in my server for a while now. Oh. Yeah, I have. Dude, you were like dead, dead. dead but you just came back today. Who? Yeah. Oh, uh, me. 
Yeah. Hey, funny. This... Kind of me, too. I've been off stream for like two weeks uh, redoing all my shit. Yeah, oh. everybody. Every, like, I'm partly I, there. Only the reason I I've been to... working and trying to get into the army. Ah, Again. I'll keep you busy. Uh, I tried for the Marine Corps. Now I'm going National Guard. Oh, uh, okay. Um, just so long and as the you words of blue. one of my buddies, I will make it to where, if nothing else, I will have a sticker of every single branch on my truck. I'm just letting I'm just letting you know. So long as you pass boot, you're fine. Uh, Problem is, oh. can you pass boot? <laughs> Kitten, all I of your like character details are hidden. I'm more dead. Haven't streamed in months. Been busy with work. That is relatable in so many ways. But I cannot I'm... see your uh, character details. You have them hidden. All I can see is your level 90s, uh, which is a good team, by the way. But I can't actually see anything. So do you look, <laughs> look at this roll. What? That is so dumb. <laughs> this is so I'm... dumb of a roll, dude. <laughs> Sadie, I'm stuck in game and I can't see... Uh... Oh, okay, okay. Let me just stream it on Discord. Uh, Pilky can actually subscribe it for you. Let me. Still my oh, is it on? Is it on your stream? It's on my stream. Gotcha. Oh, Let me pull fuck? it up. Two hundred and fifty k. Two hundred and fifty k. One k. Oh. That one k. Two hundred and fifty k. That one k is like that wheel spin is unhinged. I know it's that one case to remind you to it, it, stay humble. That's that, that's what you call cursed. <laughs> Damn, Damn. Yeah. wheel spin literally. Oh, wheel spin happy. literally I said. Made, Let's go ahead. I made me some good. I made me some good money in this, and I'm happy because I ended up with enough cars to where I sold them, and I ended up with like forty million. I have eighteen at the moment. Sounds about. That's right. like seven, seven x anything except seven. Yeah, no, like I, I'm close to a jackpot, and then like. Like, go fuck yourself. Because the last car over there, the MB Evo, oh, that's shit. actually a wheel spin only car. And it sucks. I didn't get my, it. My <laughs> news. Holy shit. Three people were just arrested in connection with Liam Payne's death. Okay, now this is the decent roll. And finally... Also, also the breakdancer Raygun just retired from competition. Well, no shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Right. The Australian breakdancer yeah. Reagan. <laughs> I didn't realize what why she... she was called Reagan, and now that I know, it's genuinely kind of funny. Okay. Uh, Her name is Rachel Gun. Thing... Okay. Uh, out of the two things, out of the four things that you have to pick, uh, two things you have to pick for. One side is the Horicon STO, the the one, and the Gallardo Spider. The other side is AMG GT Black and the 650S Spider. Which one would you pick, Sony? Uh, I would take the two Lambos. Two Lambos it is. Some people pick the 650S because it actually has, like, auction house retention value. Eh, I don't care about auction house. I want cool cars. Oh, I unlocked the details? Perfect. Thank you. I'm going to go buy one more CCX. I got one for you. I got 300k, 175k, and 100. How the fuck? Character Man. details still hidden there, kitten. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I cannot see them still. That's weird. Twitch is having an oopsie. Japanese modern sports cars the B class. The one, the other one is uh the trial today is German uh, modern supercars S one. The problem is that there's not a lot of German modern supercars in S one. <sighs> oh, it takes a while. Okay, I'll check back later then. Thanks for the heads up, okay, bro. I forgot it. a. I forgot Go about ahead. Sadie's fuck or not not Sadie uh, Ame's fucking signature on Genshin. What's her signature? If I take my meds, Tainari disappears. <laughs> She's fucking unhinged. I love it. <laughs> Who comes Damn. up with reference? 
No, don't don't worry. She's just a big fangirl for this Genshin character named Tainari. He, he's, Tainari's voice actor was there at Windbloom, where I got to meet Ame in person. And I shit you not, um, I think it. I think his name is Zach Gordon. Am I right? Yeah, the freaking uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid's Greg Hefley. Yeah. So, um, what class does the Japanese car have to be? Uh, B class. So she is wa- mind you, she's walking around with her and a friend, and they are dressed up as Tainari what or Whataburger Tainari and. There was a, I can't remember what her friend was, but basically she was dressed up as Tainari as a Whataburger employee. Zach Gordon oh. stopped to compliment her cosplay, and I thought she was going to pass out on the spot. Hey, man. The, Not the, every day that the voice actor just comes to you and... Uh, he just happened you know. to be passing by on his way out of the convention room to go somewhere... And we were walking into the dealer's room, and he, that's where all the like uh, autographs were. And I hear something about, oh, that's an awesome cosplay. And I turned, yes. and it was Ame who's getting the compliment. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, this guy really likes her cosplay. I'm thinking, he was just a guy in street clothes. And I'm like, oh, he must just be a fan. You know, whatever, you know, likes the character or whatever. And she, you know, immediately she gets all flustered, and I'm like, is this somebody she knows? And she turns to me after he leaves. She's like, that was Zach Gordon. And I'm like... No fucking way. <laughs> Did was... you watch Diary of, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the, the movie, Soji? No, I, I never did watch those because I didn't like the... Uh... The books? I didn't read the books either. I just didn't like much about them in any way, shape, or form, so I never looked into them. Uh-oh. They perpetuate oh. a lot of stereotypes towards middle school that remind me of very bad times, so I uh, choose to uh, not relive those moments. Again, valid. I'm not going to stop you from there. Yeah. Like the middle school in the south, a fist fight was a normal occurrence. There I... wasn't bullying. There were fights. I wish I could have just been in fights. I feel like I would have been happier. I just got bullied for about eight or nine years straight to the point where I never... I cried every Sunday night under a vending machine at the bowling alley for four years straight knowing I had to go back to school in the morning just bawled my eyes out because I I had to go back that the next morning and I knew my weekend was over and I had to go back to hell. My school experience was not good. Same here. Don't worry about it. What engine do these things have? I can fuck. There's a lot of people selling BMW i8s. So, yeah, the hybrid batteries are all getting FRX. used up, so they're... What do they have again? Flat four, two point five liter boxer engine. Goody. Also with a turbocharger, EJ twenty. Or excuse me, if it's the turbo, it's an EJ twenty, which is a turbocharged H four. Hey, 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 Pilkey, Pilkey, hey. Swear to fuck. Dia. <laughs> oh, the EcoBoost B six. I swear to fuck. <laughs> I have Shit. a 94 with a 4.3, and that engine is five times better than that fucking EcoBoost. What? <laughs> wait, you wait, you have a four quote higher towing capacity, but that is bullshit. Not you. A you have a 94 with a 4.3. That must mean a, it's a V6 GM product. What have you got? Uh, 94 S10. I got the high output 4.3. Hell yeah, brother! I had a. I had a, ha- a good handful of V6 Camaros, and uh, I even tried to buy a 2.8 Blazer, 86 Blazer 2.8 back in the day, but uh, the sale fell through, unfortunately. You gotta hate it when that happens, though. You, know, you, got, you, you got a decent uh, headway on the buyer, and they're like, oh, we got a better offer. So no, actually, I backed out of the deal on this one. I showed up to look at it. I drove all the way to Fort Wayne, Indiana to go look at the vehicle. And when I got there, there were no body mounts left. Huh? It had, were they parting it out? No, no, they rusted off, Sadie. I live in the north, remember? Oh, right. I got there, and the body mounts were just fucking gone. I'm like, yes. well, that's uh, <laughs> that's most unfortunate. So I opted out of buying that vehicle. And instead, actually, 
What did I buy after that? Because I drove all the way to Fort Wayne. My truck for that. was a steal. Was it? Oh, how much was oh yeah, I paid twenty three fifty for it. That's not bad. Is it pretty clean and rust free? It had. Oh yeah. Of course, yeah. You said you live in the south, so of course it is. Yeah. See up here, up was... here, you can never get twenty three hundred bucks out of an old S ten because there isn't enough of an S ten left to sweep up off of the garage floor to put in a bucket and call twenty three hundred bucks worth of a truck. It was sold north. But oh. it was garage kept. Oh, uh, yeah, that would do it. Is Natlin yeah. fun? It's not bad. It's not my favorite place, but it's okay. Oh, I, I got it. It had 140,000 miles on it. Oh, that ain't bad on an old 4.3. Those things have plenty of life. Oh, yeah. Only downside? 4L60E. Ah, those aren't... The 4L60s aren't bad. Yeah. Uh, my, uh... Depending on who you ask, second least reliable engine ever or transmission ever made. I have had two 4L60Es with no issue with either of them. They have done nothing they're, but perform they're exceptionally. They're one of those fifty fifties because it's either best transmission you'll ever have, or the it's going to sling the gears apart the second you hit eighty thousand. Interesting. Yeah, I've of course I always buy them over eighty thousand miles. That's why. Because I have a, uh, I had a 2002 Chevy Avalanche 1500 5.3 LS 4L60, 220-some thousand miles, and she was running as strong as the day I, uh, she came off the line. I mean, it was a great truck. I had to sell it due to body rust. But then my current... 4L60s in the Avalanches? Figured oh, yeah. would have had the 4L80. No, only in the 2500 Avalanches that came with either the 6-liter... Uh, or the uh, 8.1 had the 4L80s. The 5.3s just had a 4L60. Same thing with my current vehicle. 99 Suburban K1500 um, 5.7 Vortec small block with a 4L60 backing it up. Hey, we're going to Yeah, uh, my truck, I have an engine that I can put in it. I'm just not sure on what in. Is it V8? Or if. Uh... 454 big block. Don't do it. It ain't worth the trouble or the fuel mileage. Not to mention the parts. I have in my shop right now where I work, in my bay, the car I was working on when I got off work at 5 o'clock as a 2001 Silverado 2500 HD 454 big block 8.1 liter Vortec. I can't find a fucking part for this motor to save my life. Every time I need something for it, it is a one-month ordeal searching for parts for this truck. Like, if you if you do that, do it, but make it a project vehicle. Don't try to make it a daily. Oh, yeah. Kitten Shop in my chat says, I used to have a 96 Outback with an EZ30 in it and a 6-speed out of a BRZ. That's rad as hell. Oh, but I flipped it. That sucks. I'll I'm, get it every time. Yep. Remember, kids, it's not going fast that kills people. Suddenly coming to a stop, that's what gets you. Jer easy there, Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most real sentence I've ever heard. I See, I like the, I like the other one. Have enough race cars. I like the other one from Hammond where he's explaining oversteer and understeer. He said the main trick with it is, he said, that when you're driving, he said understeer is when you turn the wheel. He said... The, the wheels don't grip, the car pushes straight forward ahead, you crash into a tree, and you die. Oversteer <laughs> is where you are driving the car. He said, you go to turn the wheel, the rear tires brake traction, you spin around, you crash backwards into the tree, and you die. Oversteer is preferable because you don't see the tree that kills you. Oh, yeah. And that is my kind of uh, quote right there. Yeah. You know, it's still kind of surreal that those three are not going to come back anymore to uh, any form of TV media. Yeah, it is a little sad, but, you know, I understand. They've also been doing it for so very long now. I kind of understand why it had to come to an end, you know? Yeah, because here's the thing. There's there's a couple of factors to think about it. One is 
well, not necessarily aging audience, but uh, it's just everything can be accessed around info everywhere. Like you could just look up information, vehicle information on YouTube, and then you just find it. It's just right there. Uh, <sighs> you don't have to, you know, watch TV and hope somebody explains that vehicle anymore, or go get one of the books. Or I remember growing up, we had a TV and a cassette or a VHS player. My dad had the old VHS maintenance videos he'd pop in. That was one of my favorite videos at five years old. My dad's oh, Transmax yeah. shift kit installation video. My mom was so confused. <laughs> She's like, do you understand any of this? I went, small bits of it I do. I said, but it's just really cool getting to look at the inside of cars. She's like, Okay, you want to watch this? It's an install was, video. I loved it. It was so cool. Yeah, mine has to be uh, the one that my papa got with his Cobra kit car. Because he got a Joby Cobra 427 kit car. Oh, that's sick. And he got one for it. Is it like a super performance? Huh? Is it a super performance? I could not tell you. I was six. I was gonna say if it's a super performance uh, Cobra, I'd be like, damn, bro. Oh, your your pop up was loaded. He bought it new, like he bought that thing, and I couldn't remember everything on it, but I was told Daniel, you know, you come in. if I graduated that I could get it as, you know. My dad had a Hon had the Honda that I had for a while. He was going to give it to me. But I was told if I, you know, made it through, graduated, did all my stuff, I would get the kit car. It was still in the box. Oh, that's sick. And he said that, and it was the first time I ever heard my mama cuss. She said, the hell he will. <laughs> Is it funny I want to put a 2.3 EcoBoost in my 05 Outback? I mean, it's not necessarily funny. It is kind of an interesting idea. It would solve a lot of the reliability issues that come with the Subaru. But my big thing would be is that I don't recommend any EcoBoost motor due to the maintenance costs. When EcoBoost puke would, up turbos, they're three to five thousand dollars to replace them. I would. Yeah, my my papa had a one of the Rangers with the EcoBoost. I would just get a scrapped Odyssey motor. And re reconfigure that so that way you could, um, the you could have an enjoyable ride. The problem with the Odyssey motors is that they're very large. That 3.5 liter. Well, you saw how much space that 3.5 uh, was shoved into that CRX, I guess. It was a big motor. I would almost think, especially for an Outback, if you want to go, I would put a four cylinder in it, but I'd go maybe like a uh, a naturally aspirated but well tuned K24 Honda engine or something. Or yeah. if all else fails and you want to be cheap, get you an uh, H22 and get a CRV transmission. That works too. Possible, yep. Yeah. If you want to be even the, more bare bones the H22 about it. H22 out of the Prelude with a CRV transmission, the power and the gear ratios. It's an amazing combo. That would work good, yeah. Or pretty much any old pushrod General Motors V6, like a supercharged 3800. That'd be kind of different. Something something uh, Fiero engine. No, that's not a thirty eight hundred. Those are t uh, the Fier the stock Fiero engine is slept on, because all they need is a, s a couple of small fixes and they are very good engines. They did not catch fire. That was the four cylinders. So that was one year only. The fi uh, Fieros got bad reps for that. How you buy a good Fiero? And this is the main problem: is the transmission. The stock 2.8 liter V6 is a great reliable engine that even in its stock configuration with the 4-speed transmission can achieve better than 30, 30 miles to the gallon highway and be fun to drive. The issue comes with gearing. They max at about 62 miles an hour highway before you're revving the motor so hard you're afraid it's going to blow up. We're talking 3,400 RPM at 60 mile an hour on a push rod engine. That's just not manageable. That's one of the things I don't like about my truck. I oh my god. Don't have an RPM gauge. Ooh, yeah, that's awful. 
I actually know exactly what your dashboard looks like now that you've said that. Yeah. So, because everything's good on it. I just don't have the RPM gauge, and it's the one thing that, like, aches me. Yep. So what I would do is I would try to take a... What I would love to do, I would love to take a 2.8 liter. I would like to single turbocharge a 2.8 liter V6 with an aftermarket turbo. Pair that up. Now, mind you, keep it mid-engine and rear-wheel drive. But instead of the stock transmission, I want to swap in a six-speed out of a Civic Si. No, no, get out of the party, Daniel. If you look at our DMs, you can actually see what my dash looks like. I forgot I sent you that. Uh, you've sent me a DM before? Yeah. No shit. Because I think we ended up talking about my truck. been a long ass time since he saw you anyway to be quite honest holy shit yeah yeah i remember this now yeah there's pictures of your truck here too ha! all the yeah, way back the from uh this was june of this year yeah that's hilarious yeah. all right so i'm assuming everyone's ready with a german modern supercar correct oh yeah that old v6 sounding german. good i built a damn Japanese. Yeah, keep German that. German modern supercar. Shit. Uh, give me a second. Uh, class. F1. Oh. S1. That sounds yeah. so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotta like it. Uh, Kitten says, okay, I'll put in an easy 36 then. <laughs> Uh, I don't like any Subaru. Here, here's my thing. I love Subarus when you take the Subaru engine and powertrain out of them. Subarus are very yeah. safe chassis, but I cannot advocate for the flat six motor. Uh, or port, the flat four motor. Or the flat four motor. I don't advocate any flat engines that are not made by Porsche just because Subaru cannot figure out the oil consumption and head gasket issue, and the fact that the pistons only wear on one side of the engine. I like the old Volkswagen flat fours. Well, Volkswagen and Porsche are basically the same, so I'll, they're the yeah. same company. Yeah. Subaru well, flat have... motors don't work right. I was going to say, you could yeah. legit put a flat four motor from uh, a Beetle and just reconfigure it. Not reconfigure it, but you have to bore it just so, so little to make a basically an improved BRZ engine. Yeah, you'd almost be better off, though, like I said, just swapping. You know what would be really cool? I've never seen anybody do it, and I don't know why. I've seen one, I've seen two, I've seen four, and I've now seen five. A three-rotor uh, wankle. Three-rotor? So be sick. So, uh, if I can leave it to the south. Dirt track racing's a big thing down here, right? Oh, it's big here in the Midwest, too. I'm, I'm yeah. from Ohio, so yeah, we get... Ah, I, I went to a college uh, that owns its own dirt track and dirt racing team. Well, have you ever seen front-wheel drive class? Pretty much like those beaters that people... Yeah, 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 the mini stocks. ...kind of want to race. Yeah. Min yeah, they're called mini no, no, stocks. No, 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 not the mini stocks front wheel drive like you pull a front wheel drive car off the street put you some that's what they call mini stocks around here a roll cage huh oh so yeah they're like sunfires cavaliers civics cobalt yeah yeah you had an ej22 okay, that cool. went to 380k holy shit uh damn you're good at taking care of subarus one of the things is it has to be a four cylinder me and my dad were talking. I mean, in all technicality, uh huh. A two rotor in a way is a four cylinder. I suppose, yeah. So we were, and you know, say you have a Honda car, you have to have a Honda engine. Uh huh. And oh, see, that's different around here too. Wait. You have to. It is... has to be either a Chevy Ecotec 
or a Honda VTEC engine, but you can have either in each in either car. It doesn't matter. Yeah, for us, say you run out there in a HHR, it has to be the Chevy engine. You go in a Mazda three, it has to be the Ma- a Mazda engine, stuff huh. like that. So you're thinking about taking a Mazda three and putting a, four, a two rotor in it? Two rotor in it. Yeah. Hey Daniel, that'd be uh, cool as hell. To get to the... Did I? Did I sent you an invite to the game. I don't know if you got that invite to the game. Oh yeah, I forgot you have dirt fish there in Seattle, kitten. That's sick. Hey, um. <laughs> Guys, uh, some sad info today. Uh, Elwood Edwards, the voice of AOL's You Got Bail, has passed away at age 74. That sucks. Hello? What? Hello. I was gonna say that the, the silence was, uh... Sorry, Tainari was talking. Okay. 131 years in the car. oldest and newest car in festival speed that's 131 years in development. It was literally a steam wagon versus an Aston Martin Valiant. <laughs> oh. Oh. I swear I'm too young to be popping like this. You know, honestly, I wish I have a family that supports me in turning my uh, entire thing into a career. But no, I don't have that. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh... Hey, Soji. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna show you something and you're gonna have a giggle. Okay. You've seen Austin Powers, right? No, I've never seen any Austin Powers movies. Oh god, we're gonna have a movie night. But anyway, look at this. My family found them to be crude and unfunny, so I never watched them. Look look at that one. I sent it to you. Ah, <sighs> oh, checking now. Oh, I have seen this clip, yes. <laughs> well, fortunately, I hope ratios are good. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> For those of you wondering, it's the shadow tent scene. Where he's definitely not reaching up her uh, rear. Actually, he really isn't Surrounded by assholes. <laughs> that, that's, that's space balls. <laughs> That's Spaceballs. That one I've seen. You finally got a C0 Mona. Yay, that's awesome. Congrats. I know I saved something on TikTok I was going to share with you guys. Uh, Daniel, they're still not in the... They're still not in the game. 100% with you. It is extremely possible that I will indeed do a Pilkey because it has been a minute since I played this game. You put stock tires and you put all the power on that thing, didn't you? No, I don't have stock tires. God, I forgot. Okay, how much horsepower do you have? Uh, uh, eight thirty-nine. Okay, yep, you still got the signature pilkey. Uh, <laughs> okay, give me, give me a moment. I'll send you. Eight hundred and thirty-nine horses. Uh, 2,800 pounds. I mean, right at 29. And I am one tire away from having race tires. So you chose semi slicks. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, it was. Good. Eight. Smasher yeah, said, good old Pikey. Uh, good old Pilkey. <laughs> ah, here we go again. Uh, by the way, the first course is literally just this, almost like a straight shot, and the second course is an actual circuit. They might have a chance of the straight shot, but not the circuit. Hey, one thing I do like. This is coming from my, you know, building cars knowledge. Porsche is one of the few companies that actually has decent fucking gear ratios, and it makes me happy. 
it's kind of weird how their flat six responds really well on fourth gear. Hmm. It's so weird. Like, if were you driving on fourth gear going 180 and it just smoothly goes into fifth? I mean, in my truck, I grab fourth and I can go 80. Without having you burning out the clutch? No, it's an automatic, so I don't gotta worry about that one. At least oh, not okay. from personal error. I was gonna say, if you, if you said if it was a manual, then we're, we're talking something else, but... If it's yeah, an automatic... No. I have a four-speed automatic. Oh, okay. In a, you know, I got that wonderful middle ground between the 93s and the 94s. I have an early 94. So, everything's a 93 except for the body. Okay, so I just looked at this for some odd reason. Uh, the Hyundai Sonata rear, rear taillights. Mm -hmm. That looks cool. For a stock taillight, that's a lot of effort. Have you, have you ever seen the 2024 Hyundai Sonata rear taillights, Soji? Uh, what year? 2024. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, give me a Let me just... Pull some power out of the Copy. Paste. Hold on. It's gonna send to you. Yep. Apparently that's stuck. Huh. I'm gonna be a bitch to rebuy though in case that your rear taillights break. Probably like one of their more expensive pieces, but the entire car is so freaking cheap. Are all of us using Porsches? Oh, he's using an Audi. Okay. I like how it says auto born. <laughs> did we auto bond? Did you guys see? Oh, uh, just had a stroke. Did you guys see the recent clips from the Yai Meek or not Yai, the uh, Hatsune Miku concert? What happened? But you know the whole stupid meme. God, I hope she plays hot to go. That it cuts to be like this is a bowling for soup concert. The the guy's like, I hope I hope he plays hot to go. Like this is a Hatsune Miku concert. It cuts. It's Hatsune Miku on stage performing hot to go. Huh. Apparently they did a bunch of meme songs with Hatsune Miku, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. Hey man, whoever organized that concert, they know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Oh boy. We're gonna be stuck with ra either rammers or non-rammers, so please be careful out there. Got it. If we had six, then so, at least we would ra radio each other, but we, we only have like for half the team. So, if they ram me, counter ram. Got it. That's what I did the previous one. Just hit maneuver. Alright, sorry. <laughs> don't, don't. Don't pit maneuver. At least pass clean. If they won't allow you, then yeah, just be a bitch. <sighs> That's what I had to do for a couple of races, and I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna take that from you. No, you're, you're gonna miss a checkpoint, and you're gonna eat it. <laughs> Daniel, on your right. Sorry. Oh god. Oh. I just got pushed into a wall. Uh, careful, dark side is all over the place and he is right behind you. 
Yeah, he's gonna miss that checkpoint. Or not. Alright, sure. I'm gonna go pressure him. Accelerate is actually a really good racer. I saw his braking line, I'm like, oh hell no. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there goes Dark Side. Yep, Dark Side, I believe he's leaving. Because he is just sat still in the middle of the road. Imagine rage quitting the moment that you hit a pulse. I really need to get my steering wheel hooked up. As the proud Wait, owner of a... Yeah, I have a Thrustmaster, but it's for either PC or PlayStation. It's one of the good ones, too. I have to buy, like, an $80 adapter to hook it up to my Xbox, though. Uh, as a proud owner of a Moza R5 with a... Uh, yeah, I forget what the name of the company is, but it's got a Formula Wheel mod on it. Um, I can say that having a sim rig is awesome, but I don't recommend I don't it on uh, Forza Horizon 5. It doesn't don't, work very well. Use, yeah, don't use any sim race sim racing equipment on Forza Horizon 5. There's a really bad input lag. Um, a lot of people would uh, a lot of people would rather go for a sim rig on Forza Motorsport, or instead of course a competition. Or i racing like me. Or i racing. I racing's a given though. Hey, you're talking to an A class oval racer here. Come on. <laughs> I and said a, given. And a very and a given. and a future C class sports car division racer. I'm getting better. On call the other night in diesel server. I, I raced dirt track a little bit. That's about it. Uh, you would love iRacing. They have a ton of different dirt track stuff. Um, dirt road course, like stadium trucks, but also dirt oval. Um, you got dirt mini stocks. You've got dirt street stock. You've got dirt open wheel modified. You've got 305 sprint, or no, 310 sprints winged and non-winged. You've got 350 sprints winged and non-winged. 410 sprints wing and non-wing. Uh, they do I some really you cool... Also have legend I believe you also have legends. There are also there. yep, there are dirt legends as well. Um, and every if you're uh, every thirteenth week at the end of the seasons, uh, they will often have a ridiculousness race on dirt, which I believe last time was Indy Cars at Lima Land Motorsports Park. <laughs> it is unfucking hinged. And as somebody who's been to Lima Land in person, uh, that track is a quarter mile track, and pretty much the entire course, ba you basically uh, the leaders start on the front stretch, and if I remember right, the um, the last place qualifiers in a large enough field were starting coming out of turn two. It's a tiny ass little track. I'm going to have to take a look at my steering wheel later, figure out what it is. Oh god. Yeah, dark side. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out for him. He's gonna ram you on this uh, sharp corner, by the way. Just wait. Yeah. Yeah. 
無数の学派が栄えては消えていった唯一今では六大学派と六大学院そしてその六大賢者の中から残念ながら今教練院に残っているのは陰論派と正論派の賢者だけだ Don't worry, Daniel, me too. God, at one corner is an anti camber and they didn't know about it. Sorry, bud. Did <laughs> you just try to ram me? Damn, bro. I gotta go to Port Ormos. Oh, because this is where D is at. Why is there no fast travel point down here? Alrighty. That guy just tried to ram me. Accelerate, yeah. Sheesh, dude. Thank goodness it's the end of the race, but damn, bro. <laughs> That moment when you've passed everyone cleanly, and some people still want to ram you. Right. Somehow Daniel finished 11. Nice. Extra point for us. I, I, I think I watched him uh, message that point. Still? Yeah. Extra point for us. I know me, the straights, I would run away from people, but any time. Um, we were in corners, they would end up getting on me. Yeah, just be careful on that. Please don't do a Pilty on the, on the next one. <laughs> don't do a Pilty on the next round, because uh, next round is Italian modern supercars on S1. Okay. <laughs> oh, speaking of crude jokes, uh, Soji. Uh huh. I'm always Again, down for some crude jokes. You know about the uh, you know about the freaking uh, satellite scene from uh, Austin Powers. No, I don't know that one. The satellite uh, laser satellite scene. Yeah, I'm. A f uh, no, I don't. The know one that where one. the one where it looks like a pair of uh, pair of boobs or a, a, a giant a, a giant penis. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where they cut off each other's sentences every time it switches a scene. <laughs> yeah. That looks like a giant... Willie, are you seeing this? Yeah. <laughs> looks like a giant... Johnson! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? What's this thing on the radar here? It looks like... Private! <laughs> Fallen! But, sir... It looks like somebody's huge wieners! Get your wieners here! <laughs> I don't remember the exact way it goes, but yes, I know that very well. Oh, God. And it cuts off to... It, it cuts off to... Um, it cuts off to Ozzy Osbourne, and he just literally said, Looks like a giant penis! Yep, that would what? be Ozzy's line. <laughs> I like how Ozzy just... Lead. I already have a car made for this one. What are you taking? Uh, 458 Italia. I was about to get the 458 Italia, you asshole. I... It was one I already had built. Is the only car I had. Ferrari Modern Sport Supercar. Uh, 
S1 down. Gotcha. All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna take something else then. Trust me, I don't mind sharing. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, I wanna I wanna take something different. I also wanna take something different. I'm surprised it's not a lot of uh, not a lot of uh, Italian foreign supercars out there. Hmm. He says you can do me a favor and invite Daniel to your server too. Um, yeah. Is he in yours? He's in mine. Working on that then. You know what? I'm going to take the Horicon Technica. Yeah, I'm going to take the Horicon Technica. So that way, Daniel could be in the VC with us. Yep, working on it. <sighs> you know, the telltale sign of Lamborghini going to hexagons uh, as a as a wheel and their styling pattern was came came all the way from the Technica because everything just started to look like uh, hexagons starting from their rims and it's like oh what's the next model the fucking uh what was it called again temerario yeah everything's a hexagon and a temerario where does everything have to be hexagons he's in he should be here in a minute why not a hexagon? I mean, fucking Jack Black memes. Thank you for verifying uh, both Pilkey and Daniel. I appreciate you guys hitting my 18 plus verification. Everybody for always forgets that. Yeah, everybody always forgets about the 18 plus verification. Yep. Like, we had people in here, unfortunately, sneak up, and uh, they are not of age. On that, you know, I put that rule in place for a reason, because um, there was a bunch of bullshit drama that occurred due to um, back when I was allowing minors into my community, and it just became a drama fest. So I told everybody, you know, I gave them a chance, they didn't value that, and... I went 18 plus only, and I've since in implemented the no drama, full stop rule. We don't tolerate drama and bullshit here. Oh, uh, Daniel, please, uh, please get your microphone. Oh, shit. Up. Oh, shit. I forgot tomorrow's league night. Uh-oh. I got a fucking 133 race at... I got a 133 lap race at Kansas tomorrow. Uh-oh. Shit! <laughs> I forgot that's tomorrow! <laughs> uh, please turn on crisp, actually. Your phone should have crisp. The oh, noise okay. suppression. Yeah, you turn on your noise suppression. And if you can't do that, just put your phone in a box of the Quisp cereal, and it it's might have a similar on. effect. Uh, Soji. Crisp is already on. Okay, good. Soji, stop! Cease! <laughs> Uh, Bubba, do you happen to have a pair of uh, earbuds or anything? Because there's times that can help. Yeah, it'll, that works too. It'll use a different mic, yeah. Yeah, we'll use a different mic. Oh, damn, I have league races every week for the next five, six, seven weeks. Shit. Let's see, 8, 15, uh, 22nd. No, I take that back. There's none on, the, on Black Friday, which is good. Uh, but then... 6, 13, 20, and 27. So yeah, I've got races the next three weeks, and then all every Friday in December. <laughs> That's going to be a shitload of racing. But the good news is, I don't have to run them all. I'm running Kansas, so I'll probably run Dega. I will be bowing out of the Charlotte Roval. I'll run Vegas and Homestead. I will bow out of Martinsville, and I probably won't bother with Phoenix. Because Phoenix is hell. I don't have Phoenix. And I don't have Martin oh. Zell. The only oh. the only track I have that I'll be bowing out of is the Charlotte Roval. 
And I'm here to tell you, I ain't going to fuck around with the Charlotte Roval because I am not good enough to run stock cars on road courses yet, so I'm not going to bother. If it don't have downforce, I ain't running it. Ah, send it. Uh, I'm not a champion. If I was in the championship contending, I would try. The problem is, is I joined this league halfway through the year, and I'm just running as an open competitor. I am not a, like, chartered team or anything in this league. I just run as an open racer when I can for the fun and experience of it while trying not to ruin anybody's uh, championship runs. So um, when it comes to tracks that I, okay, like Watkins Glen, I am a rolling roadblock and a hazard to be on track at Watkins Glen. I'm five, six mile an hour slower than everybody else, and I spin every other, fi every other corner. Hey, uh, Out of Daniel, respect to other competitors, I bowed out. Daniel and Pilkey, just letting you know, Italian modern supercars. Italian modern supercars. I got my pick. You got your pick? I got Okay, so convoy only locks, so it's just gonna be three of us. Damn, dude! What the fuck? That dude was ascending it. I just heard it. It's like, yo. Yeah, I'm, I'm, par I, I'm, I'm parking, okay? I'm going to park on the side of the road. Because that guy's probably going to run me over. <laughs> Seriously? Piece of cake? No. <laughs> You know, I still miss the days of Forza Horizon 3 where Ferrari has a wide body kit. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Horizon 3 is where I See, really now, jumped in. Now that's a lawsuit. I, that was my first experience with... I, I had experience on Horizon 2 and 1, but I really, like, got into what... Uh, I started watching AR-12 Nick play uh, Horizon 3, and that was the game I really delved into and, like, devoted time to. And I really fell in love with it. And Horizon <laughs> Horizon 4, I pre-ordered. I was I worked at Walmart, and I pre-ordered Horizon 4 the day it came out and paid it off $5 a week on my Walmart paycheck. Oh, it was, you know how many, you know many points I'm going to have in Horizon 4? Do what? 25 days worth of play time. 25 days oh, that, that, that's, 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 I, that, that's, that's really Forza cute. Was I was, four. I was 200 days into it. Yeah, uh, that's where my we first met. Forza game was four and I, like, I think it was a good two months after I started playing, uh, Sadie's, that was when I joined your streams. Yeah, and we know about your signature style. Of racing, and this guy somehow carries that, dude. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anybody like a lot of things, but I usually praise you for the fact that you know how to fucking send it whenever it's like cross country. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I remember the one time, you know, the great yeah. filter and everything. Oh, like y'all are sitting there, y'all have corners, but we're going through an open field, and I'm in a Baja truck, and I think we were S1, and I was going like 210. On the middle of the dirt. I'm like, bro, what the... Dude just casually just runs everywhere. I'm like, okay, sure. I know how to go fast in a straight line. Nothing else. <laughs> Don't ask me to tune for corners. <laughs> You're literally our carry whenever, um, whenever the free roam is out, and uh, like smashers are, uh, smashers are uh, just dirt specialists. Or if there ever becomes a drag racing event, fucking hit me up. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't really hosted a drag racing event, haven't I? You know what I miss? Festival what? setups from Horizon Three. I liked the... Oh, yeah, like, when it evolves, right? I, I liked the building and, like, you go out in the middle of no... You know what I wish you could do? Uh, I want to I want to have, like, Horizon 3, but I want to be able to 
like pick from like a multitude of different lots and like pick its orientation so I can make it the most convenient way that I want to make it so my world is how I want it. Gotcha. That would be cool. Outside of that, though, I'm satisfied with... I, I want Horizon 3's game mechanic back. I really want to learn how to emulate so I can go play Horizon 3 from scratch again. I miss Horizon 3. You can actually back... Okay, quick question. Do you have, do you have Horizon 3 digitally or, digitally or no? No, I've bought almost every game I've ever owned on disc unless it's on my PC. Gotcha. I like physical I media. Say, if you, I was just gonna say, if you have Horizon 3 digitally, then um, you can just download that from the Microsoft Store, even though it's already a uh, sunset phase. I don't care if it's sunset phase or not. I just want to go back and relive it. Good old days of me trying to go playground games with a BMW Vicetta. The the first time I got banned on Xbox. <laughs> Got banned on Xbox because people thought I was hacking with the BMW I said during an infection game. That's funny. Dog, just get another I said on your team and you should be good. I got a warning in Horizon 4 for my gremlin. You got a warning? Yeah. Right, I forgot. This guy also collects AMC gremlins in his garage. <laughs> That's a unique thing to do. You don't yeah, want to had... know what I could do with a gremlin in Horizon 4, dude. Dude, he had like 25 gremlins. Jeez. I had nine. Thank you. Okay, you. I thought you had like a lot of them, but... Dear mm -hmm. fucking god, dude. You may say like a you gremlin... You can't tell me that gremlin wasn't mean. Fuck. Nah, uh, then you start facing my Honda Civic and it's an issue. For what it was. Alright. <laughs> and I'm Whoa. so sad that they nerfed it so much in Horizon 5. Oh, trust me, a lot of cars have been nerfed in Horizon 5. Like, a lot of cars have been nerfed in Horizon 5. See, why the gremlin, though? Let me have my drag car back. I'm still waiting until the Pacer comes out. It's okay, they though, because I still have a Civic Type R that is... Probably the meanest front wheel drive drag car you'll ever see. Oh no, no. Here's the, you know the stupidest drag car nowadays is? Mm. Oh, we might have to race a third race, by the way, since we, you guys are both way behind there. Um, yeah, the stupidest checkpoint. One of the stupidest drag cars out there is the AutoZam AZ1. Okay, a K car, first of all. A K car, right? But you can put the Supra engine in it. For some odd reason. You know how, you know how horrifying that sounds? <laughs> oh, okay, Pilkey. After this, like, if we win our third round, that, that would be great. But after these sets of races, I'm going to show you the AZ one. And you're just gonna you're, take out your fastest dig car. Take out your fastest dig car, and I'll show you the easy one. My fastest dig car is my Copo. I will challenge that Copo. Am I? I'm gonna challenge that Copo, dude. Oh, I did some tuning on it. I no longer just, you know lift up and you know ride a wheelie for the first 130 feet now it picks up a little bit and sits right back down and goes okay, that's good wait what happened was that only two races that's weird so we had to win both of them are you kidding me uh, that's dumb Okay, whatever. We're just we're just gonna go meet in the drag race for a second. We're gonna need to win both of them apparently. That's dumb. Meet me in the Horizon Festival. Uh, go for your dig car. Wow. 
one vehicle that I still want, but nobody has them on that auction house. Looking. I want the Pro Stock. Yeah. Pro Stock is literally the dig car. Okay, hang on. Some, uh, I'm just waiting here for you, by the way. Yeah, I'm sitting over here. Uh, I don't see you. Okay. Okay. You loaded in for me. Yeah. Are you actually in the drag strip now? Yeah. I don't see you. I am in the guy that pulled up to you in a Mustang. Okay. Alright. Alright, you, 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 okay, hang on. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go on Fade. Uh, when these three yes. are done, okay? Yep. Hi, Pilkey. Bye, Pilkey. What the fuck? <laughs> you said fastest dig. I had you out of the hole. You got me out of the hole, but I caught up to you. <laughs> On a half. Good lord. <laughs> Ridiculous. So the downloadable pack that this comes with, uh, I think it has a couple of cool other stuff, but this one is the highlight of it, considering the fact that this is the one with the 2J swap in it. It's so dumb. It, it's really dumb how this car Obviously. exists. Well, that and look at my performance index. I'm happy that I got this thing as well. What do you got? Oh, okay. So the... Yeah, I finally the, the got meta, it. Yeah, the meta before the meta. The, the actual meta yeah. now is like actually like the Copa Camaro, the one car I got, and obviously the, the Pro Mod. Yeah. I was going to say, you can't exactly beat this with that thing anymore. <laughs> That that is, uh, I think it was sixth. Yeah, it's sixth. But okay, so we're gonna try I that guess again. This thing just spins too much out of the hole. Uh, Soji. Yo. You know what? Never mind. No, what's up? No, no, because I said you're gonna you're enjoying Genshin too much. I'm not gonna bother you about it. I'm almost done. Okay. I'm getting ready say... to do the final like part of the reunion mission to finish Sumeru, and when that is over, I will be um, I will probably be switching games. But I don't know if I'm feeling zenless right now or not. I may save that for another day, and uh, I may jump on. I was gonna boot up my Xbox to update Fortnite anyway because I've just got to experience Snoop Dogg and Fortnite at least once while it's live. Uh. And while that's updating, I can play some fours up. I was gonna say too. Hey, wait, because we can wait. Because, uh, I, I, I'm gonna need to wait because I need to. Um, and we need to have help for the Italian supercar thing. I'll jump on here in a few minutes. Whenever I'm done with this piece of story mode. Gotcha. I gotta go for say like the nostal nostalgia media. Someone, uh, someone's hosting a nostalgia media for a special show. Uh, on their stream. The only issue I yeah. have with my yeah. Ferrari is it understeers its speed. I'm gonna because like, you weren't you weren't rocking a wing. You gotta need to rock a wing on that. Um, it has a wing. Uh, someone's hosting. I'm gonna give them a shout out soon, but someone's hosting a two hour, two and a half hour stream of just uh, them watching a couple of shows. I think it was uh, Megas XLR, uh, Sailor Moon, um, G Gundam. Uh, what Everybody else? else forgot about it. Uh... All right, I'm yeah, gonna. So... I'm deafening for just a minute. Um, oh, never mind. I guess I was expecting a cutscene and it didn't happen. Rave uh, G Gundam, Rave Master, and uh, what else? I will be back in the call in a minute. And, uh... Alright. We are in... Oops, I'm not muted. 
Oh yeah, I am. We're good. Okay. So, for anybody in my chat, I want to experience this. I get the feeling there's a cutscene coming, so... <笑>お嬢様は口が<笑><笑> 最初は運が味方してくれずに成功率が低いとみんな思ってただろう。俺の記憶でもそうだ。偶然都道の運。チームを組んだのも運。計画を定め順調に進んだのも。なお、それに結果から見れば状況もとても悪くないものだった。そう
それだけで理由も十分です。シャプリーズ。アウチ。アルト。それほどね。そうだ。あんたはどうなんだ。もう大魔ハマトラに戻ったのか。<laughs> He locked Calvi out. I guess they count as one person weird. Yep, here we go. Cutscene, I had a hunch.
私に代わってみんなにお礼を言ってもらえるかしらえっとこのお願いは迷惑だったかしらでも私がいきなり現れたらみんなかしこまってしまわないかしらもし参加者の誰かを驚かせてしまってせっかくの楽しい宴を台無しにしてしまったらその少し考えさせて分かったわえ決めたわみんなに礼を言うのを勧めたのもあなたでしょだから少しあなたの体を借りることにしたわ悪くこうして勝手に旅人の体を借りたのは直接みんなにお礼を言いたかったからだ<笑>身の安全を顧みず教兵員賢者博士残兵さらにはスメール全体をも敵に回すリスクを渡してまで私を救ってくれて本当にありがとうもしも今回あなたたちがいなかったらもしも誰か一人でも欠けていたとしたら私だけでなくスメールそしてテイワとゼンドがさらに深刻な不幸に見舞われていたかもしれないあなたたちのことを人々は神を救った英雄と呼んでいるけれど私はその言葉がとても好きよ私の心からの感謝をどうか受け取ってちょうだいクラクサナリデビ様はスメールのためにたくさんのことをしてくれましたそれに比べて私はあなた様のために何かできたことなどありませんそんなこと言わないでくださいドニアジャードあなたの受けた病は私のそばに付き添い私のために祈ってくれた私よ本当にありがとうこんなにも行々しくしていただく必要はありませんもとよりあなた様を守ることが俺の責務ですので教霊院と送信様の関係は元からこうあるべきだったものだ我々は当然のことを行い間違いを正したまで<笑> cool. like、そうだね神なのにそんな謙虚だなんてそんなに気を使わなくてもいいと思うぜこの計画に参加できて私とても光栄ですあ,なたありがとうみんな本当に感謝しているわえ
Here we go, cutscene. Oh, maybe not. Our chance to ask questions. Uh, excuse me, come on, Jim. Run up that hill. That's good. What happened after I fell asleep that day? その通りよ。第3位とそれより上のファデュイ執行官は神の匹敵する実力を持っているわ。でも、形勢は劣っていたけれど、あなたの覚えているでしょ。あなたの運命を変えた事実は天理は500年前のカーンルイアの災い以降
彼女そして神である彼女も最終判決に影響を与える権利を残しているわとにかく、うん、非常に個性的な神よまだ一つ聞いていないこともあるんじゃないかしらえそれってあなたは妹さんについてあなたが休養していたここ数日世界史の中からあなたの妹さんについての情報を探してみたの、うん彼女はこの世界のに。私の触れられる記録の中ではあなたの血縁者は突如としてカーン・ルイアに現れたのカーン・ルイアの災いの後は彼女はでも彼女の旅が終わりに近づいた時世界中にある彼女についての記録がいきなりぼやけたの Really? Wait, what's this review button? What? That's handy. Descenders. Oh. Yeah, そして他の降臨者の存在についてはまだ時間をかけて交渉する必要なんかとんでもない情報をいっぱい聞いた気がするぞ Didn't see that coming. Demo, Korea, Joho, Shetan, Anatomy, Sibetan, Dimon, Tokoto, Dekinai, Nadisha. 
知恵の私も数々の疑問が心に残っていて時間をかけて整理する必要があるわ、yeah. もう少ししたらあなたも出発してスメールを離れるのだね私はあなたを待ち構えている運命にとても興味があるわ前に運命は究極の知識だと言ったけどあなたの未来はお前に出会えてよかったぜ私こそあなたたちが来てくれたことに心から感謝しないとさてとりあえずお話はここまでにしましょう今後また私に会いたくなったらその時はあなたたちの夢に現れるかもしれないわねアカシャポルスズ、カルパフレームライズ、クエストコンプリートI'm still not out of this? Alright, well, that's enough of that. Alright, we're switching games. Let's unmute out of the Discord call. I can play it, I just can't watch it. I have returned. Uh, oh, okay. Soji has more. Right, Soji has more experience with this. Uh, Soji. Yeah. What's up? F1 back marker versus the fastest cart indie. What's your <sighs> What's your pick? Between the fastest indie. Well, just how fast this thing launches. I don't That's know cheap. much about either of those sports. So I am going to plead the fifth there, as I have very little what, information on that. No, the. Yeah. Um, the pacer. They're Pretty racing. Grandma, sorry. They're racing. Um, uh, spa. You're gonna you're gonna have problems finding information on that, because of the um, because of the Dude, fact that they don't really race on the same tracks. Well, yeah, but remember their uh, aerodynamic setups are usually set for road courses such as uh, Willow Springs. Even that, I'm and, uh, more close to that. Well, yeah, but you'll never Willow's... find out, like, what the... If they they have to race to on a similar schedule or on a, a, uh, a tr the same track to be able to be compared. I'm running the Civic, then. I'm running the Civic. Hey, uh... So are you guys done playing Forza, then? No, no, no. We're I'm just, ch I'm just chatting. They're just going the drag strip. We're just waiting for you. Okay, I'm getting on oh, now, so waiting. bear with me a minute. Ow! Yeah. What was the bonk for? Hi, Aster, how you doing? Mm. Hello, hello! Welcome in. Apologies, so... I'm in the middle of <laughs> switching games. But yes, welcome so the... in. Thank you for stopping by. So the Indy Next is losing the F1 and the corners. If there's a smooth corner, like a smooth banking, then the Indy Next is going to catch up. Still open VC? Yep, we are open and in my server. Feel free to drop in and say hello. So, yeah, so the, um, interestingly enough, the Indy Next beat the F1. Okay. No Hi, Aster. Yeah. Yep, I actually have a private VC, um, so if I'm in this one, that's why it says live open VC. If it's not an open VC, I won't be in this one. Yeah. Well, I still ask, because there's, there are, I mean, there's three people in here with you already. Oh, no. Totally, pr totally appreciate you asking, but yeah, this one's usually a pretty safe bet. So yeah, but what are you, what game are you playing? Are you switching to? We're getting ready to switch over to Forza Horizon Five. They need some help doing some racing tasks, and I'm the man for the job. It sounds like. Yeah. Like, hey, uh, uh, it's ate something and it's stuck. Yay me. Oh, uh, okay. How about this? Um. Here's a better question. Why do I have no audio? Uh, what is this, Monza? Why do I have no audio? Oh yeah, it's Monza. So, guys, my capture card broke again. Oh no. Uh oh. Dinkelberg. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, uh. Come on, so Elgato, quit being a. F 
Soji, got a question for you. It's working! Soji, I got a question for you. Yes, no, or 42. Garage 56. Uh, 76. Garage 56 or uh, 1970s F1? Garage 50. I, I'm not. I don't know which would be faster, but I'm taking Garage 56 because it's cooler. Let's see here. What is this? Please wait. What? Oh, there it goes. I'm just getting a loading screen I've never gotten before in, for in my history of playing Forza. Okay. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's in Willow Springs. These guys are racing in Willow Springs. Garage 56 versus uh, 1972 Lotus Type 72. How did they get a garage? What game is this? Uh, set up for it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, right. So it's Horizon Track Day week, which means it's going to be a Porsche, My. a Porsche, a Porsche, a Porsche, a Porsche, a Porsche, and a Porsche, which That's I'm weirdly. bored with. Press the game and give a fitness, a fit star. Hang on. I am very Ooh. bored. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Soji. Yeah, what's up? I want to know something really funny that happened in Open Q and Overwatch the other day. <laughs> sure, what happened? Oh. What was I was it? playing with Matt and Muffin, and the funny part is, some random dude decided to just be incredibly just rude as hell. Uh huh. But really stupid. <laughs> okay. So we're just here and he's randomly saying stupid. Tentatively racist shit, and we're just sitting here laughing at his ass because he was also shit at the game. And then at the end of the game, when he lost, he was like, "Fuck this shit! I'm never playing this game again." I went, "Good." Anyway. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> and the next match, we had a doom fist. It was like either two healers or I'm throwing. I out, I outdid him in eliminations. <laughs> as a support, by the way. <laughs> That's a it, oh, how petty do you have to be? Like that's ridiculous. Um, very. <laughs> I, Especially if you don't touch grass. I seriously, yeah, I yeah, had a dude. guy come into our shop today, oh. and he's the dude straight up says, and I quote, mm. something. He said something extremely racist to start with, by the way. Uh -huh. And he looks. He says, "You know what? I I guess I wasn't really before." He said, "But." If I wasn't then, I pretty much am now. Yeah, you could pretty... I'm, I'm, I'm racist. And I'm like... He was proud of... No, I'm like... I'm standing there at my counter and I'm like, it's all I can do not to... T it's not my business. I can't tell you to get the fuck out. But if I was the owner, I'd be can. telling you to get the fuck out right now. Technically, I think you still can. Well, it's my dad's you business. Feel, and if, if he... you feel like you're not safe, you still, I think, can. Uh, but, it wasn't... He wasn't being belligerent. <laughs> It just came up in, like, casual conversation, and he's like, yeah, it's a pretty great thing about me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Who just says that? Like, the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, at least it's a warning, I guess, right? Oh, my God. Oh, and then he's up there, and he's like, you know, they're almost as bad as women. And I'm like, oh, my God, stop. <laughs> just make it stop. I might just me. I would have turned around like, thanks. I know. <laughs> oh my god! I bought. I it was all I could do not to reach across the counter and choke him out. Like, you know what? what? Uh, my dad the... had to deal with back when Pokemon Go was really big. Well, what? Well, there was a child that was trying to walk because he also worked. He worked at Sears before they closed. So uh, this ki this kid had his iPad or whatever the fuck it was, his device of some sort. It was trying to catch something that was in, like, the where they were working on cars. And my dad put his hand in front of the kid's face. Kid looked mad about it. And my dad was like, you are not going in there. But there's a charger. I don't care. Yep. And that's the way it should be. Get shut down, yeah. idiot. Yeah. Okay, Sadie, yeah, you, you said chance. Italian modern supercars that you need help with? Yeah, the Italian, yep. Italian modern supercars S1. I am releasing the Eagle. Yeah, here you go. I'll, I'll give you a better chance, Daniel. Um, let me join up with your game here. Xbox now supports both friends and followers. Huh. Friends are now two-way relationships. Really hit, hit while Following someone is a one-way relationship. That's not that. That's not the way it worked before. Wait, what? Weird. God. Oh, God that changed damn, that... a little bit. Weird. 
That ass. What the fuck? That ass, though? What? Like, literally the only five people I'm following and not friends with, only one of them I actually want to add to my friends. The other four are people I don't know that well. That ass. What the fuck? You know, Daniel, this is my roll race Woo! car. Ask Sadie's. <laughs> That, that's a tough ass. That's a tough ass. Um, okay, so, so I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go say this, right? I'm gonna go say this. Alright. I, 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 will, I like Winter Olympics. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm neither here nor there, especially with this year and how bad that went. We're, we're gonna no, go no, 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 no. You don't understand. I like Winter Olympics because of the solo of the solo loop. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, the, 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 the jiggle the, physics. The skating is fun too, though. Yes, yes, the jiggle physics for the solo loop. Yes, <sighs> oh my God. that's that's fun. Don't get me wrong, but is it bad that I really watch the Winter Olympics for snowboarding, and that's honest to God about it? I just don't like. I don't watch the Olympics like, at all. I just watch Australia. Yeah, I, 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 lost. It's like, don't get really? me wrong. The jizzle... The, yeah, oh God, I said J that. Jizzle? The, jizzle. Yeah. <laughs> the jiggle physics are great. But I watch the Olympics for the sport I mean, because if point, I yeah. want to see... if Well, okay, hear me out, though. If I want to just enjoy some genuinely good jiggle physics... I can go to very many adult websites where the girl is consenting to putting it on camera rather than ogling some girl who's actually trying to be a professional athlete, and I feel like that's more respectful somehow. Well, here's, here's the thing. That's fair. If you, if plus, you know, I, or did our live extreme beach volleyball. Pl plus, then there's no clothes in the way, and I can see no, it. No, I can no, no. see if exactly you, what I want to see. It, if you think about it, every one of these Olympians kind of consented to whatever the camera And unfortunately, that one pointed out that just at the right point. Yeah, it's just, it's like, I don't know. Feels wrong. It's like, it's like, okay, there's nothing wrong with a, a cute girl catching your eye as she walks by and you doing a double take going, damn, she's hot. It becomes wrong well, you when you awkward. stand there and stare for ten minutes because, damn, she got a good ass. That's when it goes from, oh, damn, she was hot to, okay, now you're being creepy. Again, I'm looking at another street luge uh, female with a nice posterior. Uh, where are you guys at on the map? I don't see you spawning I'm, anywhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the event. Okay. Okay, I'm in your lobby. I'm gonna start the event, guys. Just oh. letting you know. Hello, Pilkey. I don't have uh, Forza Link on, so I can't chat. I no, turned no, it no, off so fine. I can have telemetry. Uh, they're, they're, they're doing a drag race. They, they need the force of for uh, the tree. Oh, oh well, he said I something Daniel could win against. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in ahead and. Uh, your start... car that has twenty inch rims. All right. Oh, so I'm gonna I forgot. The event, okay. I forgot to tell you guys. Go ahead, Sadie. It just I'm gonna talk while yeah, you're okay. loading. I found the funniest shit, and I want to say this right up front. I am not a fan of AI, mm -hmm. but. What this guy did, from what I understand, he made a... He basically wrote an entire song, but he wanted it to be performed in the... He, had, he wrote actually a bunch of different songs. Excuse me. But he wanted them to be performed in the manner of like... Okay, a, a 60s R&B group. Or a 50s doo-wop song. So he did all of the work and then he just uploaded it to the AI to actually make it into a song... So I'm like, okay, I don't care for that as much, but you can't go back in time to, like, have an old authentic group perform it this way. So I get, like, it, it's at least not less bad, in my opinion. I mean, but uh, Depending on what it is, because, you know, I live in Tennessee. We have this beautiful, wonderful thing called the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, no, not not quite like that. So what this was is he he's writing songs about modern-day things, but having them performed in the style of the olden times... So this was the, they called them the middle three. Uh, this is a fictional group he's created to fill this, like, uh, to fill this band. It's a group he's calling the middle three, and it's a song called The Customer Is Always Fucking Wrong. <laughs> and it is genuinely one of the funniest fucking things. 
I don't know if I can play it on. That is, like the full thing for that is the customer is always right in terms of opinion. Yes, that is actually the full saying. Um, but the song I love, he's just going on and on about how stupid these people are. And it's like, you know, he's like, it's, uh, uh, it's a lady with a sharp haircut walking over there. She's in the fur coat or something. And he's like, uh, she's headed straight for the service desk. Like, he, Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. Please call out, uh, please call out wherever you are, okay? All right, uh, I'm in front of you. I know. <laughs> call out traffic. <laughs> you're in front. Traffic coming left. left side. Jeep, Jeep. Whoops, sorry, Sadie. It's fine. You might I learned a trick right. about corner entry. Can you tell? I can tell. <laughs> I'm uh, learning the, uh, doing sports car. Car on the left, left car on the left. Whoa! Whoa! Sorry about that. It was that or tank that car. I know. You were in a bad spot. Yes, I was, and I still managed to avoid the wreck. Car on the right. Right. Shit. Little too early there, son. Yeah, well, I was trying to avoid the wreck, so. Yep. Left car. Cheat. Shit. Right car. BMW. Ah, no, that's the wrong car. Unless you're trying to tailgate a single mother of three uh, at, Jeep. at less than an, at less than two inches off her rear bumper with your high beats, beams on and laying on the horn. Then it is the right car. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull up that. Yeah, here it is. Lady in the fur coat walking through that door. Got the sharp head cut and we're about to close the store. You're not going to be lying for the service desk. But she's about to receive a reality check Cause the customer is always fucking wrong They know a lot of shit, but we know what is going on <laughs> They know dumbass think that I was born yesterday You ain't got a receipt, then you can walk the fuck away There ain't no time, I'm fucking gone at five I know your banshee ass don't care if I live or die Do you? I bid do because you're always fucking wrong, bitch. Say so long. <laughs> That's fucking great. But here's my question: How did no one wrote a song about that without needing AI? That's literally the easiest concept to make ever. Oh, I, it's still yeah, yeah. still fun though. It's like you know, if you're gonna yeah. use AI, at least it's for something fun and creative like yeah, that, and not fun. stealing it's jobs. Fun. Funny, there's nothing funny with it. I was also gonna say, like, y'all remember about that? one Mario slideshow meme that the AI was all made out of AI pictures. Oh, God. Mm. It's like all the TikTok videos of all these definitely not real clips of people crawling through the Chernobyl sewers and encountering, like, a dog spider. It's like, p give it up, people. We know they're not real. The only AI video I find really funny and actually does look legit Shit. is a video someone made of Alphaba and uh, Ariana Grande is whatever the fuck the fucking bitch's name is. Like, those two fighting each other, so we made an AI video of that, which is really funny. Yeah. Like, 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 cat fighting. Like, literally, like, slapping right. each other. Right, uh, left jeep, left jeep, bad area. Uh, right yeah, jeep was in a bad bronco, area. Right. right bronco, and then left Audi, bad area. Sorry, I'm gonna need to call out every one of these things so that in case that you guys don't, don't miss the checkpoint. You're all Left good. Left Bronco, bad. Left Bronco, bad. Left Bronco, bad. Right Twix, good. <laughs> the chuckle Whoops. of I'm happy somebody. Sorry about that, Daniel. My bad. I did not expect you coming back on track that fast out of the grass. 
I figured you'd wallow there another half second or so. I misjudged that. Okay. No traffic so far. Right Volkswagen. Bad spot. Any spot's bad for a Volkswagen. Okay, nothing so far. Nothing so far. I feel like I did okay climbing back to second after missing the first checkpoint. Sorry about that. Oh, that's fine. It happens. Whee! Right. Cool. We actually won that. <laughs> I love when the side vents come up on the car. That's fun. Uh, the, the regular Mushy logo also does that. Uh, this thing's just severely underpowered. Oh my god, I've got to listen to this one. High speeds, but it won't get up, up to high speeds for a good minute or two. Hey, yo, that person who made the customers always fucking wrong song. Uh, yeah. I gotta listen to this one. I want to shoopy doop in your doopy shoop. Obscure 50 songs. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> hey, guys, uh, Modern Supercars, any class Horizon Tour. Oh no, Modern Supercars S1 class, any country Horizon <laughs> Modern oh, Supercars at <laughs> I know I, I know I know what you're gonna take. I know what you're gonna take. Every, everyone knows what Soji's gonna take anyway. Congratulations, hey, you. you've all lost. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about that. Ah, uh, it's too easy. I love this car so much. Uh, uh, what? Uh, my see, opinion on McLaren, by I the way, Aster. Right. If you want a McLaren, what you really want to buy is a C8 Corvette because it's mass-produced and all-around better quality than a hand-built McLaren that will almost assuredly break down on you in the first five minutes of ownership. First five minutes of ownership, and within the first primary day of your ownership, you will notice notable, noticeable rust from the factory, by the way. Yep. McLarens are very cool, and I would happily own a P1, but I would have to be like, uh, was that Mad Mike you said who LS swapped it? Yes. I would have to be yeah, like Mad, Mad Mike, Mike and LS, LS swap swapped. it. Mad Mike fucking LS swapped his McLaren, and I'm like, bro, the, the P hell? I, I will fight somebody yeah, though that I the P1 that. is the you best looking. The of speed. That thing is insane. Here, here, you know what? You know what's even faster and more insane about that? This McLaren. No, 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 you know how, 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 how horrible the, it is. You know what, actually, it was, it was a McLaren, but he put a. I think it was a quad rotor in it. No, 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 Sadie, you didn't. Which one is that? Eerie. I'll have something made. Yeah, uh, if I... No, I'm not losing hey, you an electric crap. Corvette. I won't. You're not gonna go for the hybrid. I know that. I'm taking I'm, I'm taking that hybrid a, atrocity to Corvette's name nameplate down. <laughs> Although I will say, the spoiler... The spoiler looks fucking awesome, but I'm taking that hybrid atrocity down. You go for the... You know, uh, something, something, uh... The future is now, old man! Even though you're not older than me. <laughs> no. But I am very much an older mindset than you. That sucks. Hi, right, Smasher. Aster, if yeah, you haven't I'm figured it out now, I, by now I'm very against hybrids. I don't understand a single thing really about cars except for the one thing my dad taught me that I actually sat down and listened to. Well, uh, basically, hybrids are like Toyota Priuses. They use a gas engine, but they also have electric drive on board. And it's the cross between the traditional car and an all-electric car like a Tesla. It's the best of both worlds. Or in my opinion, the best of gas cars mixed in with the atrocity that we call electric. Mm. I'm an old-school purist. If it don't burn gasoline and run on dinosaur bones, I don't want it. Also, just a quick question since your profile picture is Nouvellet. Let me take a guess. You don't main him, do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, I can fight. <laughs> Fair enough. It's like 810 in the world, something like that. I was like, oh, huh? That's good. <laughs> huh? What did you win? What, what did like, you It's uh, like 800 something in the world. On the leaderboard. Teach me, please? Motherfucker! Uh oh, we lost one. Oh. 
Daniel, did, yeah. did you? Right, and I technically main yay line. Oh, they're not. Uh oh. They just wouldn't let me join. Oh, now I'm a thousand. Hey, I didn't join either. It, I was making a car. Actually, oh, what the heck? Oh, wait. We, don't we, have anything on him, actually. It's okay, just me and sleep. Yeah, I'm going yeah, to as well. Leave. I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna dip. Um, uh, where did I put Genshin stuff at? So, can you send me your Genshin art kind of thing? Uh, if you want to DM me it, you can. I can I can show it in the art and chat. Genshin That's thing. true. Oh, that is not the thing I was wanting to show you. Hang on, Matt. Join up on me, by the way, everybody, because <laughs> it just disbands the group. Yep. Oopsie. Ooh, that's that another. That's another good old style song. Have you tried not being a prick? That's oh. just a. That's just some good fucking advice. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to listen to that one. That sounds good. Uh, Hear me out. Have? Listen to ep the epic musical saga. <laughs> For some shits and giggles. Ooh, there's a rare 1960s vinyl. Wow. I like this one. P.P. Jones, my cat pissed in my birthday cake. Alternate title, fuck you, Mr. Kittles. That's rare 60s <laughs> vinyl. I want to listen to that one. Oh, there we go. Yo, that's got to be a really good one. Hang on, let me get let me get to the let me get to it here. Hang on, hang on. I got to I got to you guys got to hear the title on this one. The Gleeful Dreamers. That's a fucking ugly baby. You got room for uh, one more? Anything? Yeah, go ahead. You finally got your Xbox back? Yeah, I've been at it back. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, better hurry up. We got high rollers. Two minutes. Sign me up. I can't join in two minutes. Never mind then, because this is like three circuits. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Anyway. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I tell the day to I'm just back in the I've never been in this situation before. What the hell? Sort by that. I just accounting. Sadie, what's high rollers constitute? 2.5 million plus. Basically. That? Seriously? Yeah. Class. S2. S2. Oh, okay, that's easy enough. That's why I want to oh, ask if... Really yeah, easy. no, no. Ma um, Smasher can't make it. We have to wait for Smasher, okay? Wait, where's... Because uh... my game takes a while to load in. Yeah, let's wait for... Let's just wait for Smasher. Wait, we'll wait for the cycle. Where the hell's my car? No, hang on! Soji, we're gonna skip this one, because... No, that's fine. I just... I can't find... How much is the car I wanted to... I thought that was that expensive. Where's my car, dude? Yeah. Dude, like where's... Well, dude... Dude, where's my car? Also, uh, I had to do a system restore earlier. Oh, it's 2.25 million. Okay, that's why. I had to do a system restore on my computer because it would not start up properly, Windows. Womp womp. Oh, you that nerds is very... with your computers. Oh, yeah, because I'm, t I'm not on PC. I... Uh, can I, I ain't saying my specs. I don't know my specs. I just know my uh, graphics card. I I built this PC I have an Xbox from Series X. I built this PC from scratch with the help of a friend and the local computer shop to upload all the drivers. Um, and I am very proud of my build because I think I have the strongest PC of all of our friends. So I am very proud of the money I saved up to buy that, because it was a lot. I am going to need to save up my money, too, honestly, because this thing is actually going to fall far behind now. This 3070, this 3070 can't take it anymore, honestly. I Can can't, I invite? I can't sing the praises enough of my 4070 Super Strix. This thing's a killer. Oh, you and Daniel aren't new to my room. Ooh, nice uh, McLaren. Yeah, I'm not in I there. like the way they look and sound. They, I will say, McLarens look really good, but if I had Except to pick one of the two of these, the I'd have this Corvette every day of the week. I love this Corvette so much. For me, like what I'm in, I'm in the 650, but I don't... 650 isn't my preferred when it comes to McLarens. If I had to buy a McLaren, there's only one choice. I just want... 
Bumblebee Camaro. <laughs> Oh, I, mean, I, I gotta say, Camaro. mad respect on that. Yeah. Bumblebee Camaros are cool. It's cool, but I'd make it purple, though, because purple. That's there is a... I really there desperately is... want a, a car in the green color that those Camaros came in, yeah. just because of how cool they were. Early the daddy of them all. Early 2000s fucking up. I will say, that oh, does God. look... Many... What? Is Manny that a Kojbin. color or is that just dirty? Ayo. Hey, Manny Kojbin, the realtor uh, mogul, aka it, the realtor mogul car enthusiast. Um, God, I, I have mad respect for Manny Kojbin now ever since his, he said, like, you know what? I'm going to let my mileage just burn on my, uh, my mileage just burn on my, uh, my Bugatti. So he's going to burn, like, a, he already burned, like, 50, uh, 50k miles on his Veyron, which is good. So. Mad respect to the P. If you're going to own a super or hyper car, drive it. Yeah, no, he's driven all his cars, even his one one. You Good. paid the price of a house for it. Drive the damn thing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like, come on, you went and spent that much. I, well, what's the guy? Uh, it's the he does TikTok skits for like of like when you take your car to the mechanic, and that's what he's like. Yes. So I've just hit the lottery. I'd like to buy a Ferrari. And the guy won't even give him the time of day. He's like, hello, I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson. I will have to call you back about your 87th vehicle purchase. And he cuts, he's like, son, you can't buy a Ferrari. But what are you going to do with it? Well, I'm going to drive it. No, no, we don't. No, no. you don't drive a Ferrari. Okay. I changed yeah, my mind. Yeah. I'm going to let it sit in my garage and not touch it for 20 years. Okay. What kind of music would you listen to? Rap. Classical. Classical. I would listen to classical. No. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> rap is just... I don't, I'm not a big fan of rap now. Rap today is just kind of meh. I am not a good. fan of... Like, the. I don't now. like... Listen, well, okay, I like... Listen to his like, juice world. I found rappers on like YouTube and stuff who are keeping the Eminem style of rap, lyrical, alive. Um, yeah. Artists like Knox Hill. Uh, actually, when I redo... So, fun fact, I'm getting all new overlays, all new starting, waiting, ending screens. Uh, I'm getting all new music, and a lot of the music I am using is from a rapper on YouTube called Crypt. He is super cool. He's come out and said it and posted on all his social media that all of his music is DMCA free. It will never be claimed. He will never post a DMCA claim. It is free to use by anybody. To, uh, he's like, what better? If you love my music, yeah, use it in your streams. Promote me. So um, I am going to be using a shitload of his music, and it's really good. I'm super stoked about it. That's one thing okay. I liked about... Uh, Guys? Um, uh, maybe no money. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for a maybe on this one. Uh, AMG versus M Sport S1. S1? Mm -hmm. uh, I might... We'll go for a maybe, but I have the... I made I don't know if I have an S1 for that. AMG okay, versus we'll what sport? M Sport. Oh, Basically versus AM3, M4, M5. What if I'm not a big enough asshole to drive a BMW, so I don't to use any of them in this game? S1. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not gonna. I that. don't. Yeah, I don't have one there. AMG. I also do not have one. Okay, we're gonna go on ahead and uh, go on ahead. And... I have an S2 AMG, but you already know this. I have one AMG. It's the GT4. I have a. Or the GT4. I have a car oh. request for this game that I don't think will ever be fulfilled. Yeah, me too. What's yours? I'm curious. Oh. I'm always a fan of the Holy lower shit, cars the that you know aren't you know the biggest Sorry. and best of what it is. Like okay. the cars we have, oh. they're always the biggest and best of what it is. Oh. Okay. It's like the you comparison want some base between trims. the Cyclone. Yeah. Like and a base S10. between the Cyclone and the truck I have. Cy. 
That yeah, would be the same engine. Okay. Base S10. The Cyclone has the turbo. Base models would be cool. I'd be down for some of that. Guess, uh, okay. This is another maybe. Uh, basically, Group B. S1900. S1900. What's the actual, like, c c category, though? Is it Rally, rally Monsters? Rally Monsters. Yeah. Hey, Yo, what's up, Aster? I'm gonna go bother the shit out of my ear. Sorry, grouping down. Real quick. All right, I'll no, Okay. Alright. Yeah, Rally Monsters. Yeah, Rally Monsters, S1. S1. If you guys don't have it, then uh, we're gonna skip this one, too. I'm checking now, bear with me. I don't remember the alphabet. <laughs> Give me a second. Man, I do have one. I have the, uh... God, I got one. 911 of GT3 RS Force Edition. <laughs> I have one. I am I am good to go. How about you, Dan? Control right here. Is it all S1 900s? Yes. Nope. nope. It's not 900 on the dot, but it'll run with it. It's close enough for Jazz. Hey! Me and Pilkey had the same idea. Uh, Alright. Starting it now. I actually... Fun fact, I was I actually trying to become a professional rallycross driver at one point in my life. I put in a request to uh, see what it took sponsorship-wise to uh, be a part of the ARX3 Sierra Cars circuit. Um, I was trying to, I was going to speak with some local larger companies to try to get some sponsorship and backing so I could make a run in an AR3 ride, an ARX3 ride, uh, which I was hoping would lead into an ARX2 ride and maybe a Fiesta, and then if I was lucky, get in, getting into the full ARX series. And it did not happen. I ended up, uh, well, I submitted my request, and three days later, America's Rally Cross closed. Made me very sad. Me and my genius self, I've decided if I ever make a race car, I'm going to see if I can somehow get Mad Dragon to sponsor it. Ha 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 ha! Have Just not have their name anywhere, just have the dragon. So, just overly you know, large. so actually, that wouldn't be the most unhinged sponsorship, uh, as in the uh, USA Open Wheel Modified Circuit, um, Pussy Energy Drink has already been a sponsor, yep. Yep. <laughs> and in F2 and F3, um, Livestrip.com has also been a sponsor. Uh, oh, oh, and my particular favorite, Sativa Cannabis, in the Janetta Junior 15 and under category. I, by the way, IRL, IRL, uh -huh. IRL, Formula One, Jack Surtees, Durex. Oh, yeah, that's why most of the uh, season that year wasn't broadcast on BBC. There is that one sponsor. Which is ironic considering their name. Maybe if it was Magnum, BBC. they would have got away with it. Yeah, the only one they broadcasted was the final race. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, hey, just remember, the BBC had no problems showing, the BBC had no problems showing race cars with Penthouse Magazine on it, but when it comes to directs and safe sex, that's where they drew the line. It's so nasty. Oh my god, it's so bad. Like, there's a, a whole ass girl in, the, girl in the lingerie on the front of your hood, and you're saying... No to do it. Uh, backwards ass. Whoa, don't see him at all. <laughs> the car has a bit better turn in than I initially anticipated. There you go, first, second, third. Just watch out for me because this thing does have a V8. Oh shit, Smasher! Oh, hey, Smasher! All right, hey, Smasher! Shut up! Hey, Smasher! <laughs> I flipped. I didn't even hit the pole. Oops! Oh, Sorry, Sadie. It's okay. Hey, Smasher! Shut up! That's it. <laughs> How'd you catch up that fast, Smasher? What the hell? 
things really fast. You ain't lying. That thing's a fucking rocket ship. What the hell? Excuse me, guys. It's coming through. Oh, Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm good. Yep. I was trying to give you some wide bars. God damn Sorry, that. Milky. That Porsche's a fucking rocket, bro. Yeah, I couldn't see behind me. I'm in hood view. It is a Porsche this one too. That Porsche's? Yeah, the, yeah, that's the. Uh, oh, we'll spend a lot. Like getting like a bunch of Porsches and stuff, isn't it? We'll, we'll spend oh, only. Because that's one of the things that I have that one as well, and I think it's fast. I have no idea how how Smasher gets the Porsche to hook up so good on the rear. I'm in a rally cross car and he's dusting my ass. I'm in a quad. Yeah, where Smasher is our dirt savant. We, me and Pilkey could say that with our deepest breaths. Yeah. Clearly, because like, I'm run, I'm running away from you two, and he's running away from me. That's impressive as hell. I'm actually catching up to you a little bit, Soji. Are you? Yeah. Yep. I'm playing the catch up game. Damn it. Yeah, now I see you, Soji. You had a bad corner or two there. I never did like this track very much. Same. Nine, and so fun fact, the livery on my car is not the factory one, even though it looks like it. <laughs> I'm running the actual America's Rallycross 199 Travis Pastrana livery that I actually got to see run in person at Mid-Ohio uh, uh, Sports Car Course. When they had their one of their only like two or three races that. ever there. We my did it. Was a one, hey, my fastest was a one hundred five four. Eat it. Okay, Eat it. Easy, Weird Al. Hi. I'm so upset. Let's fucking go. Dude. Just eat it. Eat it. Bang, get bang yourself an egg and beat it. Have some more chicken. Free roam rush, rush, yes. Let's just make sure that we finish before no. now. <laughs> Son Gotta of a bitch. Turn around. Bro, where is it? A minus. Take the tarmac first, because the tarmac's the only way you can do this. I said take oh, the tarmac it? first. I'm in a rally cross car. No. So am I. I'm in a stunt car, but whatever. Okay, after this part, maybe I could cut it off? Yeah, that's thin enough. Oh, never mind, never mind! Oh! It was not, in fact, thin enough. Oh, it's that way. My body kicked. Oh, oh, damn it. I was over there. Oh, come on, Porsche. Oh, come on, Porsche. Oh, no. No. A smasher. Get hit by a guardrail. That's a tree. Yeah, I didn't hit a tree. I hit a, I hit a, I hit a guardrail. Could be worse. I hit a bridge. Oh, fuck yeah. Dude, I, I hit the same bridge as you did then. I hit a building. Like one of those greenhouse tents. Oh, that's... Oh, 
calculating route. Ah, no! Come on! Oh shit! Going one fifty and four right now. <laughs> That would be the street scene festival. That's a problem. Uh, I'm going 160. Send it, descend it. I don't care. Descend it, descend it. I don't care. Oh, oh this is the dirt. This is the city dirt for anyone. Oh, that's the the lady one, right? Actually, uh, not the lady. Uh, the Guanajuato sewer. Yeah. Yeah. What the. Uh, yeah. Uh, everyone, go, go to the roads, cause they'll you're gonna knock a building if you don't. Uh, you're in the airspace. Yeah, already there. That's good. You have arrived at your destination. Second place. Fuck. You are kidding me! You got to be kidding me! Third place. I almost did power my fucking Audi! <laughs> God fucking damn, dude. I have more torque than horsepower, by the way. <laughs> you can tell. I have like 762 torque. Woo! Boy, that was a. That was a madcap was dash to the finish. Point. I, dude, that was like a long. Dude, normally it's like really short, but that was like a long sprint. I was kind of upset because one of the trees that I ended up hitting, I thought I made it around, but my oh, body kit on the rear yeah, caught it and just kicked me out. Did it flipped your car over? No, it didn't flip it, but it spun. Hey, it's the Amogus truck. Call this oh, the Amogus truck. Shit. I'm watching all these jumps and like spine back, spine crushing like landings. All I can hear is the clip from Family Guy. My back is hurting from the chair I'm sitting in. Where's the sitting Tylenol? On, where's the Tylenol? <laughs> <laughs> if I lay down <laughs> flat on the floor, it sort of kind of fixes it. Oh, sorry, Sadie. I didn't know you were coming out there. Oh my god! Everyone's just like. What a clusterfuck! Whoa! Oh I shit! Get flashbanged! Remember, I'm not the best at handling car fun. Shit! Same. In the words of that meme, damn it, Daniel. <laughs> there goes my spoiler. Or my duck tail. On your right. No, no, my spoiler! I'm not bouncing the normal purple with us now. On your right. <laughs> One spot, by the way. Oh, shit. Hey, I told you. Luckily, that corner's so slow, it really didn't slow me down at all. Which is good. Now to go 180. Not if I have anything to say about it. This car can't Almost. do 180. Almost 170. <laughs> this one can. I almost did it. 175. Buck 56 was all I had. On your right, Daniel. Yeah, I see. Like a flashbang to him. Ah! No! Ah! God. Ah. It's like me and Turbo are just dueling for a second here. Oh, Not so sorry. much a duel as it is a chase, where you're leading and I'm fruitlessly trying to catch up to you. 
fruitless. Bro, you're catching up. And I'm being threatened. Missed checkpoint. I'm done. Oh, shit. No. Good news. Still in third. Well, whoever scores the fastest time now. Pretty much. Yeah, 129.1. The fuck is up with your car? All right. <laughs> Lighter than mine, for sure. What the four is probably not. <laughs> no, mine's a Ford Escort. Gen 2. Yeah, but you know how heavy Fords are. Mine's a half a million dollar Subaru Impreza. ARS. Which sounds way less impressive than it really is. That reminds me of the big EQ plot from like the 80s. Uh, I almost laughed at AI. <laughs> I don't know how to translate that boot corner. I have yet to learn how to do that. No! No, mine's not the fastest lap, that's for sure. 133. Oh, oh god, Sadie, my best is 136.6. Although that's about to change. 137 uh, Woo! Oh, 136 something. 137. That last lap I put in a 3 second faster time. That was awesome. I put in a 1 second faster time. But again, I still got another top five. I still got another race. We better we better hurry the fuck up. Hopefully it's close. Hopefully it's a trail. It'll be out in the yeah. it'll be out in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to Jesus, if it's out in the desert, I'm gonna. If it's out in the desert, I'm driving straight over the volcano. <laughs> I won't even give a shit, dude. Whoa, Alara is streaming late. Damn, I didn't know that. Uh, okay. It's out in the desert. I'm gonna hop on that one road that goes right under the volcano and past the main festival, and just send it. Uh, depends on which one it is in the desert, because I might take the high road, honestly. Fair enough. I'm over it. We're going to have to find out. Alright, let's go ahead and try to find our way there. Come on. Okay. South. 3.4 miles. Where is it? Can someone pause? I'll pause. I got you. Uh, oh! It's the... Teod Hiwakan. Can my car oh, stop rumbling, the... please? Yeah. The, 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 the airstrip. Yeah, no, not the airstrip. That's the temple. Yeah, temple. Well, what are the hilarious anyway? I smash it. Point, so I'm, some people are probably there already, or they'll be there in a couple of seconds. Me and the uh, You're just it. eat quadoodles or whatever. Um, we both decided to take the massive ramp and flipped our cars, but totally worth it for the Dukes of Hazard airtime. <laughs> That's the wrong temple area. Where is it? Sorry, 
I I can't. I'm I'm gonna be trapped here. Okay, good. I wasn't trapped. That was insane. Uh, this is the. I think this is a. I think this is a trail. Front range. I hope that it's a trail because I really need to go. Sorry about that, Pilkey. Now you're good. I see it was perfect <laughs> oh, no, because I was doing the. Again. My horn is like the dial up arrow. Oh, that was you. So, I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was perfect. Scrap. Oh, fuck. Okay. We got to finish this ASAP. Tehaktua. That is how you say that. Tehaktua Khan. Scramble, right? <laughs> Marine Corps. Hoorah! The Army. Hoorah! Navy. Hot to it. Spit on that thing. Exactly. Oh. I can say that because I'm a fucking Marine. <laughs> How? What's the average one lap of this track? Because don't know. I'm just gonna go. Okay, we got we got a we got a C because. Woohoo! Pilky. You, you, Sorry, Smasher, that's the AI, not me. Sorry, sorry. Okay, my wing! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Woo, that whoop section is fun! Haha! <laughs> I love Sadie's gone full on Forza Horizon full wall rider. That's kind because, of fun to watch. Well, I am in a hurry. I know. That's my defense. I'm I mean, in that, a hurry. Let's be fair. It's racing. We're all in a hurry. <laughs> it's all on who can be in a hurry the fastest. Fuck! Ah! Fuck! Oh. Woohoo! Bye, Felicia! Showing my age there, I think. Okay, so it's a minute and 13 seconds. Yeah, no, I'm not going to make it. I did yeah. a minute nine. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. I got to quit, guys. Damn. Sorry. Yeah. All right, so kick it in overdrive, pull some slide. Got it. Yeah. Hey, I'm that promoted me to convoy leader. I'm going to I'm gonna raid Beery, so I'm going to switch connections. I'm going to look for you guys to finish. I'm going to switch to my internet connection, so... Okay. You guys have fun, and whoever's still oh. looking, you guys have fun in Beery's chat. I'm gonna need to, um, I'm gonna need to finish this. All right, I'll see you guys later. See ya, boy. On the street. Yay! Not, uh, not, uh, not this. All right, I will be right back. I need to take a shower. Let me know if all the five of you guys are still here. Okay. Okay. Have fun uh -huh. getting wet. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back later. <laughs> She's too easy to set up. Yeah, I just avoided. Smasher, I am not losing you this time. This car is doing way better on this circuit. Oh, yeah. This is a fun dirt race. Flowy, oh, yeah. a little technical, a lot of slidey, a lot of drifty without being ob obnoxiously, like, difficult. It's just fun. See, I feel like well, you kind of I actually too. like the tune I have on this car because it slides just enough on everything. I'll be honest, mine I wish... slides on different things doesn't change. Like, this thing slides as much on dirt as it does on pavement. I wish mine slid a little less. It's a bit drifty for my taste, but... I'm starting to learn, like, everywhere... You have to drift every corner, oh but it has to be a true, like, Takami four-wheel drift. You, otherwise, you lose speed. Yeah. So it really is a yeah. technical tune on this car. Oh, yeah. That and the weight transfer is slower than you think. So you really have to switch your weight early to get it to go. It's slow, but it's smooth. Yeah. Woo! What are you running? I did a 109. I didn't look. I think I was somewhere in that ballpark of like 110, 111. Uh, 
115.7 was my best. Heck yeah. Come on, Bengals. Cooking. 114! Oh. And there went Sadie out of the call. Oh, right, because I have it set up. I think it kicked her to... Did it do what I wanted it to? No, it just kicked her. That wasn't supposed to happen. Come on, Bengals. Uh. <laughs> Achievement front runner. Or runner. Front runner. I know. I know. Hell no, I don't want a four runner. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like my truck. I'll stick to it. Thank you. Yeah, no. So, you want to know some weird shit about my truck? Uh, fucking English shit. Yeah. Soji, that's it. Yeah. You want to yeah, know some weird shit about my truck? Sure, go for it. So, it's a workhorse. Okay. Uh, would be. High output engine. Okay. And the workhorse trans, like gearing, it's really good bottom end, but it has a. Uh, the cam in it performs better at higher RPMs. Okay, makes sense. So you lay into it, you're sitting there, you're good, and then you feel it pick up like it just gets this surge of power. Makes sense, you yeah. Feel it. And it's a two wheel drive truck. But it has a four-wheel drive rear diff. Really? So it, the gear ratio on it, paired with the very, very like torque-based uh, limited slip that it fit, I, I swear it fucking has. Uh huh. It doesn't spin. Weird. And so it you've performs. Got like a, so you've got like a launching just as truck. well as it. Yeah, it's an odd combo to have. Cool, but odd. And it launches well enough. Uh, one of the fucking WalMarts out here where I live. Like, there's this big ass hill right on it. Mm -hmm. Like right as you're pulling out. Yeah. I stepped on it on that hill. I picked. Both front tires are off the ground. Wow. Jesus. That is and I know I did. Because I felt it go up, and then I felt the thud when it set back down. Damn. I look next to me, a minivan, and there's a little... Like this little, maybe, eight-year-old kid. He's pointing. Like that, <laughs> roof, that flick with his finger. And his mom's just sitting there shaking her head. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't have thought a V6 truck could pull a wheelie either. No. If I'm sitting flat and I step on it, say I have it in drive, not overdrive, yeah. it'll pick up the uh, driver tire. That's when when you get pulled over for that one. Sean, do you know why I pulled you over? No. You did a wheelie. Well, to be honest, officer, this thing's bone stock, and I didn't think it would even do that. And if he doesn't doubt, if he doesn't believe you, pop the hood. <laughs> No, the bad thing is, it is bone stock. That's what I mean, the is it's like, if he doesn't believe you, pop the hood, is, it really is. Uh, like, the only thing that was done to that truck is he had a full, like, exhaust put on it. Didn't have the headers done, but he had, you know, headers back. Yeah. So, Cat Delete and a MagnaFlow 3 Series. Dang. That's why it sounds like it does in those videos. I does say it does sound good. I'm gonna go for the night. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so. Okay. Have a good night, Smasher. You too. Won't be too much longer. I'm gonna have to call it a night as well. Yeah, I'm about that too. I say I've been on about three and a half hours, which is fun, but I am. Uh, I've not been sleeping well for weeks and probably even months now due to a. I found I found out it's partially a sinus pain, partially b dental pain. 
partially see the way I've had my bed orientated and the fact that my box spring was broken and I didn't know it. And combine all that together, and I haven't slept good in months, so I've actually been sleeping really good, and I've been going to bed like an hour early to just keep recovering. I have felt so much better in the last four days since I've been sleeping good. It's like I feel like I've got energy again. It's so nice not waking up a zombie every day. How many of your teeth are full? What do you mean, full? Like, are you missing chunks of any of your teeth? No, 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 not like that. I have a, uh, I've had to have a couple of root canals. I've had to have a few fillings done. Um, mm -hmm. I got really depressive in college and, um, kind of didn't care if I lived or died yeah, and I didn't take out. any. What'd you say? See you. Oh, see ya. Have a good night. Daniel. Yep. Bye. But yeah, I didn't really care if I lived or I died. So I kind of quit taking care of my, my, well, everything physical. Um, so I'm a bit out of shape now, and I didn't take care of my teeth, so I had to go, you know, I had to get a good handful of fillings. Um, I had two teeth that were filled improperly by a rather poor quality dentist, so I had to have a couple root canals done. I, I'm not sure, I may need one more root canal when this is all over, um, but I'm a lot better off than I used to be. Uh, but it's like I'm still having a little bit of trouble there. But I also just recently found out, like, I've been suffering severe headaches for probably the last six months. Um, mm -hmm. I had a root canal done ten months ago. It was good. I bit down on it. I bit down on something hard, and I thought I heard it. So I went in and had it checked. Everything was fine. Uh, but my headaches just never went away. And it turns out, I think I had a bit of a mild sinus infection that never went away. And because I was born with a broken nose, my left side of my head, my sinuses just kind of don't function. They're there, but they're a bit inert. And I think a little bit of that infection got over into the left half of my sinuses and can't get back out. So I've been suffering these severe headaches. I cleaned my ears out last night, of all things. I just used, like, some earwax dissolver because I felt a lot of pressure. And immediately, most of my dental pain and a lot of my headaches went away. I felt like a million bucks this morning, and I'm like, what the fuck? And all I did was just clean my ears out. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I think I need to go see an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Wish it was that easy for me. Thanks to this wonderful thing called genetics, uh, mm -hmm. all of my teeth rot from the inside out. Ew. No matter what condition they're in. That's awful. Mm-hmm. I assume you're eventually just and... going to have them pulled and get dentures then? I'm, I'm going farming and stuff, and they help a lot, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to just get replacement implants. That's probably the best option. I mean, not much, I mean, that's, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's like, oh, well, you, okay, me. I didn't brush, I didn't do what I was supposed to, and now I'm suffering the consequences. It's my own damn fault. I, you just, I brush, you're getting wash, hosed. mouthwash, yeah. That sucks. I, I can't. Yeah. As some, the I worst will, part is, is it'll look completely fine. But inside, it's going a molar bad. right now. Yeah, I have a molar right now. Mm -hmm. It looked completely fine. I took a bite out of an apple, and more than half of my... Ooh, that's came off. awful. So now the nerve down in there is fully exposed. <laughs> yeah, no. I had to kill it with bourbon and Ugh. moonshine. Yeah, that's not... Just let it sit in my mouth, sit on that nerve until it completely died out. Oh, God. That's gotta be agony. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the and way it I... It sucks because it'll... There's other teeth like that with exposed nerve endings. And they'll just get overly irritated all of a sudden. God, that's... So for like a good day or two, I'll be in severe pain. Like, I won't sleep all night... Well, that's what Damn I had near in tears. when mine, when mine, when my two back, my, it was my top two rearward most. And when they went mm -hmm. necrotic, I had, uh, basically what had happened is mine get infected. And because they got in too deep into the pulp of the tooth when they were filling it or whatever, they fucked it up. So mine got infected and the pressure kept building and building and building and building. 
And basically mm -hmm. what I was feeling was the blood pressure of my heartbeat trying to push the white blood cells into my tooth that was already packed with infection. And it was like my head, it was like the tooth was trying to explode out of my head. Um, because of all the pressure it was under. So, the now, that's bad it enough. Had, but it formed an infection bubble. Ugh. And see, yeah. that, for me, it was bad and enough, the... but mine went bad 5 o'clock on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. I will say, God bless my endodontist, who, he wasn't even my dentist. I had never even talked to this man in my life. But I laid on my couch writhing in agony for 24 hours between Friday to Saturday night. And I called my parents at like 10 o'clock on Saturday night. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I cannot take this anymore. Like, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm ready to claw my eyes out. It hurts so bad. And she gave me the number to this endodontist. I called the man's emergency line at 1030 on a Saturday night. I'm thinking, well, maybe if I'm lucky, they'll check it on Saturday, Sunday or something, but I'm not going to hear back till Monday. That man at set at 10.45 at night on a Saturday night went out of his way to call me back on my personal cell phone. And he's like, hey, I just got your message. It got forwarded to me via, via our answering service. He said, I can hear the pain in your voice. He said, I understand it hurts like an absolute mother right now. He said, and there's nothing I can do to stop it completely. But I'm going to give you this cocktail of stuff to take. He said, you're still going to hurt. He said, but you are going to make it through the day, and you are going to come and see me on Monday. We're going to get you through this. And I'll be damned. Between that, he, he said, I got lucky. The cocktail helped, and then the tooth had finally started to die a little bit inside, which relieved mm -hmm. it a little bit as well. And I was in a lot of pain Sunday, but it wasn't as bad as Saturday, and yeah, I got through, and he got me my root canal, and I've... That dude is... He is the best dental professional I've ever been to. Are you seriously... He numbs you up so well, and he, I, he's sitting in there drilling into my skull, and I can feel how deep he's going because of how hard he's pushing. And I did not... I, I could feel the pressure of that pushing up on my head. But I could not feel a thing inside my mouth as he drilled almost three quarters of an inch up into my skull. Never felt a thing. How many shots does it take to numb you? Uh, somewhere between five and six usually, maybe eight on a bad day. But I'm also I also have a really mm. bad I also have a really bad reaction to whatever the anesthetic is. When I when they numb me up, it's great. It works perfect. I cannot feel a thing. The problem comes about two and a half to three hours after the numbing sensation. As the numbing wears off, the pain gets worse. Like, worse... Oh, pain from the reaction of it. Yeah, I, I, th I think it's a reaction to that particular type of numbing agent, because the second my mm -hmm. pain, the, it's, the numbness starts to wear off, the pain comes back. And by the time it's half worn off... It's basically as bad as the tooth was before I had the procedure. By the time it's yeah. fully worn off, I have to be sitting down or leaning against something because I lose my vision. I, I, everything yep. goes kind of black and hazy. I can barely retain my own consciousness. I actually almost passed out the one time. I was on the verge. I could feel myself getting ready to pass out from the pain. And that lasts... It, it comes in waves where I'll be in considerable pain to I'm going to black out and I need something to lean on so I don't. Um, and that goes for a couple hours and then the last push I will get is the is the closest I will come to blacking out where it's like I can't see anything for about 15 or 30 seconds and everything around me just kind of spirals. And as soon as it peaks... It goes away, and I am perfectly fine after that. About two hours later, I feel much better, and by 24 hours later, I have no pain at all, and I'm perfectly fine. I have no idea what that reaction is. If I have, ha if I have to go and see him again, I'm going to ask about that. Because it's like the first time I took it as, well, I'm not used to this. The second time, it was the exact same situation, and I'm going, something's wrong. <laughs> like, that's not, that cannot be normal. Yeah, uh... 
for me the numbing stuff. Uh huh. Eight shots, like eight full needles. Yep. Gets me numb for exactly ten minutes. Ooh, what is with your That's body? It. That's weird. I have a really high tolerance to any kind of numbing agent or or uh, pain relief mint. Makes you wonder if that isn't what causes your teeth to rot like that, if it's something related to each other. I don't know. But, uh... I... Like, when I was little... Uh -huh. I went to the dentist, they put, like, five shots in my mouth, which at the time, with my age and size, that was all they were legally allowed to give me. Yeah, makes sense. And by the time they started the root canal, all the numbing wore off. Ugh. So You're every root screaming. canal I've had, yeah, every root canal I've had since I was like six, mm -hmm. I have felt Ugh. no relief or numbing, nothing. I fully felt. It. Ain't no fucking way. Mm-hmm. You are Shit a sucks. You are a stronger man than I. Hell no, because I am in tears every single time. <laughs> Dude, I bet five bucks I'd have, I'd have passed out unconscious at that point. I don't think I could handle what you go through. Uh, and then fucking the infection bubble. I got it. Like, I live in Tennessee. I was in, on a job in Arkansas. I live in East Tennessee. It was a six-hour drive to go to this job. Uh-huh. And then it starts hurting. I go to sleep that night. I can't sleep for shit. The pain peaked. Like, I have one hell of a pain tolerance, but I am in fucking tears. I'm moaning. I'm groaning. I can barely move without a surge of pain going through my skull. Ugh. And it was right on one of the teeth I haven't had root canal on yet. So it was also messing with the nerve. So it wasn't just in my mouth. I felt it all along the left side of my jaw and then up into the back of my head. Yep. That's where I get my headaches. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I know exactly what you feel. Yeah, I had uh, that. <clears throat> and it got to the point where I just couldn't deal anymore. There's an ER not far down the road. I drove to the ER. I sat in there for seven and a half hours in the middle of the night to get told, yeah, it's infected. They gave me a T3, which is just a, it's a Tylenol with a, like, probably an antibiotic or, in it. I or can't no, exactly it's a numbing it agent, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that but it was that. That's not gonna help. They gave me one, a prescription for 400 milligram ibuprofen, and a prescription for 400 milligram Tylenols. Yep. You can get it all that off the counter. Though. Shit. Uh, highest you can get I know here is 200 milligrams. That's all. Well, okay, yeah, but you could take more than that. Yeah. Which is normally not advised, but that's seriously what my endodontist told me. He's like, here's the thing. He said, normally you do not want to do this. He said, but to get you through the day, what I'm going to have you do, he's like, he said, how do you have acetaminophen and ibuprofen? Said, yeah, I have both of those. I got naproxen. I got ambisol. I got everything, dude. I've been trying everything I got today. He says, all right. He said, all you need is acetaminophen and ibuprofen. He said, I want you taking 1,500 milligrams of acetaminophen and 1,000 milligrams of ibuprofen. And I'm like, are you shitting me? Do you know how much that is? He said, I'm aware. He said, he said that normal, if you do this every day, it's really bad for you. He said, you're going to be doing it for just 24 hours. He said, I'm going to flood your system with so much painkiller, your body's going to have no choice. He said, it's only going to be for one day. You're going to be fine. You're young, your liver's going to handle it okay, your kidneys will be okay, just don't do this all the time. One day is all. Okay, he said, you're going to take that every six hours. And he said, 
anything else you can do that helps, you do it. I'm like, he said, other than painkillers. Like, okay. Yeah, I took the I took all those painkillers and holy shit, what a difference. That that thing kicked it in the ass. But you have to like flood it with three times the technical amount they recommend. Which is not safe to do. I do not advocate that at all. But when you've got a root canal, go, when you got a tooth going bad and you need a root canal, oh yeah, yeah, you do whatever you got to do. Cuz uh, I was about ready to put well, a bullet through my head. Marine Corps basic. They were going through some of my teeth and, you know, fix them. They saw how bad they were, and then from the first root canal that they did, they saw how resistant I was to the, the stuff. Uh huh. They gave me a prescription. Yeah. That had to be kept by the drill instructors. That's strong, huh? Uh, 500 milligram hydrocodone. That's some strong shit. I had to take two in the morning, two in the afternoon. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's some seriously strong shit right there. Oh, yeah. I could tell how strong it was. Chick kind of fucking hurt. <laughs> Yeah, I, I believe that all day long right there. Uh, oh, excuse me. Ugh, I'm gonna try to do... Sell it, is it again? Is it a fucking 92? German Modern Supercars no. S1. 74. No. Germany. Oh, it's a retro supercar, no, damn. Three. Oh yeah, it's called the fucking Torino. Forgot about that shit. Damn, the buy price went down on these so much that second it up on. What are they? The Torino. You know, the original 8.6. Oh, I thought, oh, the Truino. I thought you were saying a tor Torino, like a old, uh, uh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Southern. Like, uh, Starsky in, in the, the Hutch. The words of one of my Marine Corps buddies. Uh, I don't speak English, I speak English. No, that's fine. I just... You can see where, okay, Torino and Truino sound very similar. Yeah. Um, I need to go to You know, waters. the auction house price went down so much. Was that... What it was? It's modern supercars? I have 19 million. I don't really need any yeah, more, modern but. Modern supercars. Uh, there... what I had for it. Fuck. Hold on. That's gonna be my last one, because all I really want to get is the, uh. Yeah. The that. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I just want to get the weekly, is all. Yeah. Germany. I got Audi R8 V10 Plus. The that BMW works. i8, the other R8 Plus, the 911. I used the 2014 911 Turbo S. Okay, that makes it sense. It did me pretty good. And it's S1. If you can make it to where you can turn better than I did, then you'll be golden. Because me, any straight, I had them. Okay. I would kind of have them dependent on the turn, but on my like sharp turns... So really, like, the so, Lambo did not, because the, or the Audi R8 is actually lighter and makes more power. Yeah. Really? What was it was the thing? I know exactly what it was. The 2023 911 GT3 RS. Yeah. I'm tempted to try See, the I have, older Audi. I have a car that I can't get rid of. Like, I physically cannot get rid of it, but I never use it. What is it? 2018 911 GT2 RS. Oh, okay. Why can't you get rid of it? Won't sell? Uh, no. The game won't let me because I got it because fucking Forza Horizon 4 and then I pre-ordered 5. 
Oh, okay. So Ooh. I started five with a GT2 RS. Nice. I'd probably have that too then. I just never tried to get rid of it. And you can't use it in this because it's a track toy. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. oh, that stretch was so good it almost hurt. Thank you for the hydrate, Monk. Much appreciated. Are we winning? We are indeed winning. Yes, we are. Big wins all around. <sighs> Thank you very much for the hydrate. Much appreciated there. I'm kind of tempted. Oh, I kind of... I've been hydrating. I've been doing the opposite. <laughs> My I'm... mouth hurts. I was sitting on bourbon. Oh, that'd do it. I am. Uh, I decided at a young age that if I wanted to afford car parts, I would have to decide not to have alcohol. So to this day, I've only ever had one sip of alcohol. It was by complete accident, and um, it was a thing of SoCo. And if that confirmed anything to me, it was that alcohol is nasty, and I don't want to drink it. See. I I can't down alcohol. Like, I got buddies that can go through beers. I can't drink beer. I drink like that one old man that's sitting on a rocking chair. I sit. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of a healthy way to do it if you're going to do it. Yeah. Keeps you from getting I don't getting drink too to get crazy. drunk. I drink to, you know, not feel all the pain anymore. <laughs> Fair. Second you start getting a little buzz, that's when the pain starts going away. And that's where I would see my problem is is I have a very addictive personality and I would immediately become yeah. addicted to never feeling anything, which sounds like heaven on earth. So I can never experience that because if I do I will never oh, ever me. leave it. I will become an I alcoholic have very fast. The opposite. It is severely difficult for me to get addicted to anything. I feel like it's a good thing, but in another way it can be a bad thing. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it's just Welcome me and Pelkey. Uh, sorry, about, sorry about that. But, uh, my fucking my head is spinning right now, so basically the melatonin is kicking in, so I don't know if I'm... Drink water. I don't know if no, no, no. It's just melatonin. I'm well hydrated. It's just a melatonin. Um, okay. I don't know if Soji's up for another trial or up for another. Uh, That's why I'm getting ready to run. I'm ready, getting ready to run the trial, actually. Um, hard favor to ask. Can we do another Horizon tour? Because I just got back on. Sure. Sorry about that. Because I, I really need the, I really need the eight points. No, you're fine. I'm down. Yeah, sorry about that. It's fine. Let You're me... Uh, I'll be on the game in a little bit, but... Yeah, I'll... Melatonin is kicking in on overdrive right now. Holy shit, dude. No. Uh, don't worry, I'm drinking. Bad fucking mosquito. Bad. Oh, I thought he was about to say that to me. I was like, excuse me then. No, no, no. There's a mosquito back in my room. I just saw him, like, fucking... Motioning over, I'm like, fuck. fuck. I, can, I can just see Sadie slaps the mosquito. The mosquito's sitting there harder. <laughs> mosquito is just sitting there, just, oh. <laughs> Pretty much. Sadie, Soji's still on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Gonna get you them extra viewers. You got a southern boy that moans like an anime girl. Congratulations. <laughs> I used to do that. I used to I used to laugh like fucking um, Usada Pekora from Hollow Life. I don't know what happened to my signature laugh. I seriously don't know. I don't think I've ever had a signature anything. I tell bad jokes and make people like, cringe. Uh, That's all I do. Well, no, you're you you you're the king of dad jokes. My point exactly. I tell bad jokes and make people cringe. Oh wait, whoops! Not the party. Not the party. Just leave it. Ah uh. Uh, yes, join the Xbox party. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I don't know what happened to my signature laugh. It, it's just it it got it got caboodled. Life. Yeah, that and my fleeting youth is just losing. Oh, fleeting youth! You are not that old. No. Oh, neither am I. Uh, but my beard is gray. That just comes with being not. I think we're all technically classified millennial here, and I think that just comes with being a millennial in this world that we can't afford anything and we have to stress over every single penny just to make sure we have food. I'm classified really in a uh, mixed generation. He's literally, um, what do you call it? Um, a uh, zillennial? Right? Yeah. That's, the, that's the proper term for it, zillennial. Yeah. So you're Gen Z and millennial. We got to be so we got to be close to the same age then. I am he's, 21. He's 21. Well, you are a little younger than I am. Yeah, I so turned 21 last month. Fair enough. Yeah, you are. Don't worry, the lady at the liquor me. store thought I was 30. <laughs> I can't, I can't I believe that. I wish I was that, joking. Dude. I told Sadie that one earlier. Yeah, you weren't, you weren't, you weren't here, dude. Like that's that that kind of that, that I wouldn't say discriminatory, was discriminatory, but like, damn, bro, uh, that that hit heavy. I, I'm gonna tell the story again. I'm sorry. Uh, so I turned 21. I went to the liquor store because I was like, okay, you know, I can finally buy my first legal bottle of liquor. Yeah. I grab the, I grab the drink, set it up there. I pull out my ID. She goes, "Oh, I don't need to see that, honey. I can tell you." Look at my ID. I look. Huh? I can tell you're old. I am. How old do you think I am? At least 28. And I know people drop it down a few to seem nicer. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. And I just sat there and looked at my ID. It's like I'm 21. Jeez. Like, I, I turned 21 yesterday, and she goes, oh. That was it, just, I, uh, oh. I'm sure she yeah, didn't see that no, one coming. I was going to say, like, I, I told Pilkey he has two options. Either he shaves his beard or styles the beard that, okay, I'm going to go say, you style the beard to the point that makes you look young. Which takes another level of class, basically. Because here's the thing. I might describe it to you, Soji, what Pilkey looks like. He looks like a tired old Ed Sheeran. That's oddly specific, but also a very good description that I can picture. My eyes are that weird mix of, uh, I've been working for, I've been working construction for 20 years. Please put me out of my misery. But my face is, I'm fresh out of high school. Huh. Some of my friends tell me I look 14 and 45. Jeez. There is no in between. Mm -hmm. The way you said that, all I can hear is that stupid movie. The guy sits down in the barber chair and he's, he's like, so what kind of haircut are you looking for? He says, I'm looking for something that says, I hate my wife and my kids and I have to drive an hour through shitty traffic, you know, every single day in a car I hate to work for my jag off boss. And the only thing that keeps me from putting a gun in my mouth and pulling the trigger is the fact that every now and then I get to watch a football game. And the guy in the waiting room behind him looks, he says, oh, that's this haircut. And he points to his own. Oh, like, oh, geez. And you see the guy says, oh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's right. Kitten uh, says works in construction for 13 years. I didn't know you were in construction. You never mentioned that. I started construction as soon as I got out of basic. I've been doing it for two years, but I learned quickly. Ooh. Hey, uh, I'm really gonna say this right now. Hey, this is what you call instant karma. Someone, uh, someone was sending very misogynistic messages to this woman. Uh. And uh, they said that he's from a uh, university in Houston. 
right? And uh, the next one, uh, the next the picture says uh, it's from the University of Houston. Decided to message a student that was uh, sending a photo to this woman. And it says, uh, hey, hi there, student of yours in computer science and the name of Noah is <laughs> Terrasimian X. And then, yeah, he, he got, he got, um, yeah, he got booted out of school. Well, that's what should happen when you're, you know, bullying anybody else. That, that just seems appropriate. And your fucking thing has a weird, what do you call it? Weird... Like, why would you put your government name on your Twitter? Which is dumb. Uh, I mean, my it's Twitter. Old... Just do what everybody else does. Go there to look at porn. Oh, I, I do that on Reddit. I do it. I do it <laughs> on Reddit. I do mine on now Blue Sky. Actually, Blue Sky has good good stuff now too. Sadie um... and I definitely are, aren't in some of the same subreddits because she's told me some of the ones that she's in, but. I, I don't use a profile with anything tied to my VTuber name. Um, I just have a private, like, one you would never... It's extremely unassuming. You never know it's me. Um, except for the fact that I am actually in there. And, um, yeah, I am... I have, like, no karma. I don't post anything. I only have one subreddit I moderate, and it's my own. It has, like, six posts. But it's totally See, worth you it. you know you've made it as a VTuber when all of a sudden you're scrolling through something. And you see fan service of your own character and you're like, huh. I am I am awaiting the day I get to see porn of myself. <laughs> I That sounds awesome. I want that so bad. There, there's nothing... Now, my, my, one, my one thing I don't want to see is... Is the fact, because I'm gender fluid, I have both male and female models... I do mm -hmm. not want to see my male and female side doing each other. That would be fucking weird. I don't... Uh-uh. That's the one thing I don't happens, want. You will. That's the one thing I do not want. Everything else I'm fine with. Like, I I'm into freaky shit that I am like, yeah, that some of that I wouldn't even mind a bit. But that would be the one rule would be, uh, hey, no... No messing with, you know... I mean, how, would that technically count as incest if, if it's you if it's you doing yourself? self -cess. self -cess. I mean, is that is that actually a word? That's a word. No shit! Oh, uh... Soji, before I forget. Yeah. You wanna see one of my ways to fuck with Sadie? Sure. Uh... You want to roll race my M3? No! No! <laughs> no! No! Oh, God. Stuff of nightmares, Soji. Stuff of nightmares. <laughs> I love the... I, I, all I oh can God. see is that video of the roll race between the Tesla Model S Plaid and a, what he didn't know at the time was a... 3,000 horsepower GTR on full slicks. Yeah. <laughs> you see, the Tesla, of course, <laughs> there's this instantaneous electric boost as the Tesla pulls out by about a half a car length, and then you just see the GTR's front tires come off the ground on a roll race, and you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The, the, they don't even show the rest of the video. It just pauses. And they just photoshop these two beady little red eyes behind the wheel of the GTR. I'm like, you know, that you know that actually checks. Zadie, what was it you raced me with the first time you raced this thing? It was my it was my little bullet of an Audi. And then it was the That's Porsche. It. <sighs> and I was like, no. Absolutely absolutely not. I'm staying away from that with a fucking ten foot, ten meter pole. <laughs> well, good because it's staying away from you too. Just make sure tail lights in view, or try uh, at least. God, what I did is I started setting my stuff to no plate. Uh huh. And I made this thing as a drag car for the abandoned air, like the abandoned runway. Right. 
it spins like crazy out of the hole, but once it gets going, it just keeps picking up. Really? It's like those, you know, old videos of VTEC kicked in, yo. That shit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, it's no spin, 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 it will hook, I... and then it just goes. All I can ever see anybody says that is just James Pumphrey. Ah! Lightning, 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 uh, lightning, lightning. I actually, I actually, is, that's one of the few donut shirts I have is the lightning shirt. This man, thing is that's the S2 gold, that's the gold, the golden age of donuts. 931. Wait. Top speed, 195. Damn. So it's all acceleration then. Yeah, it'll go. That's the one thing I can do. I can do gear ratios. Fair enough. I'm kind of good as an all-around tuner. I just kind of fuck around and see how it works. I know how to put power down. I don't know. Sorry, how to turn. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the R, uh, RNG to not give us a bullshit roll for the Horizon tour. That's why we're just waiting. Okay. Because right now, it offered us three scramble courses on C-class SUVs, so I'm not going to be bothered about that. I would rather go you know, and... Soji, you want to take a crack at it? Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry, not one. Uh, hold on. I do not have any vehicles tuned for drag or roll racing. So I'm going to be of oh, no so contest run down to you. the highway. A run down the highway? Yeah, it's just a... Yeah. That I have a vehicle It's a roll for. race. It's a roll race. I do have one vehicle for that. What's the class Back limit? Then. I am S2 931. So I am barely S2. Uh, I don't think I have anything around there that's that fast. Yeah, I'm going to tell Sorry, you, I'm I going lied. To tell you. Uh 270. I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you right now so do you, you're going to be in for a, You're going to be buried. Buried, pretty bad. Uh, right. So I also forgot to mention. Um, back then in Forza Horizon Four, I used to do uh long gun nights with the crew. Mhm. Mm and uh, yeah, I think we just pulled off some more bullshit on the highway. Um, it was a sixty roll, and mm -hmm. then we just triggered that sixty roll out when we're close to the tunnel and then just go send it we would roll through the tunnel and then as soon as we hit the other side send it hmm interesting so when we did that um we actually had a class limit you said you're 970 no 270 uh, BMW goes 270 yeah on and I'm 931 931 PI I was gonna say we had rules. The rules are, you have to stick your car to S1, and it's on its original powertrain, which is rear-wheel drive. Okay. And that's the only rule we got. I would run away from them, <laughs> unless they were in a Supra, or we hit that one fucking corner. The second we hit that one corner, there they go. And yeah, if you're, yeah, the the rule was the rule also was you have to stay on your you have to stay on your uh, the ongoing lane. If you go on the other side of the lane, you're out. If you go outside the track, you're also out. Fair enough. So, uh -huh. I yeah. do not have any vehicle that is tuned for top speed unless we get up to like nine nine eight. Uh, hold on. Do, do you, you have, have a Toyota? I just gotta remember which one. You, 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 any like, what do you call it? Wait, I have a, work? hang on a second. I have a 926 with a 8.3 acceleration. I can, we'll run that. We'll see how it does. I'm going to lose, I'm sure, but that'll at least be the best fight I can give you. Well, being in the realm of reasonable. Where are you starting at? The roundabout? The again. I am on the far side, yeah. The side, the desert side, not the forest Roundabout. side? 
Uh, do you have a 92 Celica? Maybe. Oh, okay. Do, this one's a good roll. It's a this good one's a good roll. This. Guys, we got a good roll. What we got? S1, S1 Track Toys. Ooh, that is a good one. Okay, so Horizon Mexico Circuit, Plaza Circuit, and Cop Copper Canyon Sprint. Just See, traditional some track top toys, end? though, huh? Yeah, traditional track toys. There is some top end, but most of it is uh, Horizon Mexico is a balanced grip. Plaza Circuit is... Uh, yeah, that's the one with the underneath the tunnel, which is a really tight track. And then Copper Canyon, which is a straightforward track. You said S1, so right? S1. So you I'm need to have a balance. Need, the category is track toys. Yeah, I have one. Uh, which is? Uh, the GC2 RS 2018. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to select the Summit Racing Pro <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, I have two vehicles for stuff like this. Like, is it... Do I need more of an all-around, or do I need really really take some corners because you, all around you, you, is the gt2 where corners is the vol i think <laughs> is how you pronounce it i love your Vol6 peaking RR. emote kitten that's very cute okay yeah, so the, the Vol6, fucking go kart the Vol6 RR, yeah um this will be my last race by the way guys i gotta go to bed after this i've been on for over yep. four hours now yep um i'm yeah, you go. It's balance, and then um, it's it's tight and balance. So it's mostly um, it's mostly balance. I'm gonna select so, my 600 GT2. Trophy. Yeah, GT2, GT3s. I'm gonna select my 600 LT because I got. I, I need to. I really need to just have a basis for this. Better, it's gonna select for me. Which one do you got? I'm waiting to load in as well. Same. Okay. Ooh, I can take the Hyundai Envision 74. The Let me not do that. Forza Edition Charger. That was my recommended. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have a risky pick. I'm going to go with the Nismo R35. Ooh. I'm bringing a car you know well, Sadie. What are you bringing? Unfortunately, my Corvette isn't legal. But you know what is? My Camaro. Ah, uh, Senor Garage 56. Uh, no, actually, this is, it's the Garage 56 tribute car, but it now carries an Azure Lane Enterprise paint job on it, so. Eventually, it'll get put back to a Garage 56 tribute, but. I love Porsche, 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 GTR, Corvette, and then me and the lone Camaro. I'm in the lone GTR. Yeah, there's the Corvette, the Camaro, uh, and the GTR. That's a Viper. GT2, GT3, Corvette, GT3, GTR, Camaro. Yep. Yep. Watch this Welcome little wide-body fucker run. You ain't never seen a Camaro that can take a corner like this one. We're talking. It's so stupid. We're talking Street yeah. Hunter wide-body, all-handle. I just can't believe your car is that slow off the line for a GTR. Yeah, this thing is tuned for grip only. Oh. Too much grip. I underestimate the grip with this thing. Alright. Yeah, that Corvette's all power. In an American muscle car? No. Can't be. No, like all power, no turn. That's my point exactly. That's what, uh, that's what American muscle cars do. 
I can't believe I just out apexed a GTR in this pig. Shit. It's okay. The hell. Second boy. Yeah, that Corvette's got not a that Corvette's got no chance. He's fast in a straight line, but that's all he's got. I'm hunting. They both are. Oh, what the? Lag. Yeah, it. I saw it bad on that Corvette. Dude, you're lagging so bad, you look like you're on McDonald's Wi-Fi. Don't go honking your horn at me there, four-wheel drifter. He's about to ram you, just letting you know that. He ain't gonna be able to out-apex me to do it. To wreck Imagine an import getting, uh, import passing a Corvette. Wouldn't be me. To first wreck your opponent, you must be fast enough to catch opponent. Probably Confucius or, or somebody. To get lapped. That too, yeah. I'm just being super conservative right now. Just lines as clean as uh, can be. I lost my score. This guy's trying very hard to ram me right now. <laughs> Confucius say, man with much power and no grip have small penis. <laughs> Don't say that to Pilkey, though. Pilkey's trying. No, see, the difference is Pilkey is actually racing honest and clean, whereas the twat in the Corvette is driving like an asshole. And this thing is the opposite of what I'm used to doing. It is medium power. Medium. So, yeah, it's also, um, yeah, you, you, this, you're out of your element, basically. Yeah. Like, I feel like one of you in this thing could do amazing. Winner! Yes, Not indeed. Me. We are winning, Monk. We won that race uh, pretty cleanly, too. Really didn't have to bash anybody or... Yeah, <coughs> yeah you know it. And we didn't have, really have to, uh, like, bash into bash anybody or have any rough spots. That was an honest, Just clean win. Just I that Corvette. Oh, no, I passed him clean. Other than when he was, I hit, I hit him when he was lagging. But I mean, I don't know if I actually hit him or not because he was so all over the road with his lag. I don't know where he was at. I might have hit him. I might not have. The hell out of me. <laughs> no surprise he there. He was trying to side. He was trying to sideswipe me. Wait, hang on. It's a uh, plaza. So Oops, sorry, it's, uh, going to Guanajuato. It's going to Guanajuato. No, to Guanajuato. it isn't. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's uh. Sorry, Pilkey. You're good. I'm gonna take the tarmac, because tarmac is the way to go here. Especially the track choice. I can't go that way. That tarmac isn't available. I hit a fake gate. Corvette's fast though, not gonna lie. Oh, he's got his horsepower. Yeah, I'd rather stick to tarmac because when you hit a building, that's gonna be a problem. 
Yeah. I'm gonna get to a few dirt patches, but that's about it. A Corvette guy had a song written about him. You can't turn, you can't stop. What do you do? You can't turn, you can't stop. What can you do? Just make sure that you're, uh, you're trying to... No, it's this beautiful start. song called Hot Rod Lincoln. That's my ringtone for my dad. Love that song. <laughs> I know that song by heart. Oh yeah. I wonder if that Corvette made it. Yeah, he's there already. He hasn't triggered the thing. Nice, Eddie. Oh, it is in the middle of the fucking city. I told you. Okay, now he triggered it. Oh shit, I'm gonna miss it. Okay. This is like an apexing, apexing track. You gotta be careful on this one, Soji. Oh, I know. Sorry. It's weird having donut voice lines from people who aren't even with donut anymore. Yeah. Hmm. I've, I've, I gotta go and check. I haven't had a chance. I gotta go check out James's new channel, Speed. I haven't done. Speed Co. Oh, is it Speed, Speed Co? Co? Oh, okay. Speed yeah, Co. Yeah, three E's. Yeah, Speed Co. I gotta check that one out because I haven't checked. I have been watching Big Time for the most part, though. Jeremiah Big and Time Job is... are good. Big Time's great. Um, Big... Big Time is Big like Big... old Donut when they were doing fun videos. Not like the educational stuff as much, but. It's like a mashup of all of Old Donut. Especially with that 90? Ooh. You might be surprised. It's actually the top hairpin at the top left that's the tricker. That one's tough. Really? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there's also the last corner. Massive breaking zone that everybody's going to misjudge, as well as this very first corner, which everybody's going to overshoot. Gonna yep, one. there you go. Big wreck. Just like that. Right behind you, Pilkey. Yep. Yeah, careful of the Corvette. Shit. Yeah, yep. he got my ass. I got hit by AI. Corvette got me. Corvette got me too. Yeah, the, the Corvette wanted to hit me, by the way. Don't worry, you'll get them the undulating corners. He's about to fuck this corner up something fierce, because I know... Whoa, he actually didn't wall ride there. What the hell? I'm giving oh, an honest effort. go up into the trees. I'm giving an honest effort. Oh, nope, he left. Haha, <laughs> yes! Finally! We're free of the idiotic Corvette. And now you have to catch up to me. Yep, now I can go Sadie hunting. Which is the fun, but usually impossible part. I cleared some track debris. Me too. Oh shit. Boy, that really threw my car for a loop. What the hell? And again, what is I with this? Got jammed into a wall. There's so much track debris, dude. After that, vet wrecked everything. I would think so. Trying to hunt down a GT300 car with your uh, Garage 56 tribute. Or used to be Garage 56 tribute? Yeah. Pretty much. I'm about to lap an AI. I see that.
I wouldn't say it would be impossible to catch up to me now, but um, there's no way. Your fastest lap. Yeah, just tell me what the fastest lap you got. Because right now it's 119. 122.2. I'm oh, losing sure. time, do you? It was a Cooper. Oh, that was that one I think that wrecked at the start. Yeah. He's facing the inside wall pretty bad. I mean, I still can't catch you. No, I was pissed off that I couldn't score my fastest lap. Oh, okay. I didn't get to see what mine was. <sighs> I tried going for a risky, like, maneuver on the final final straight. <laughs> and uh, I guess it really didn't pay off, and I was, like, a little bit pissed off. Oh, you scored third. You actually scored third. Yeah. Wow. Good run, Pilkey. I lost my spoiler. It helped me in the straights, but not in the corner. It's just you, visual. Hey, you know, say so you know that doesn't actually affect affect handling in this game, right? Uh, we DNF like, the entire. Just like pressing, just like pressing the buttons doesn't, you know, make you, you know, hit harder. I'm aware, but it makes my brain happy. Fair enough. Tackle, tackle it more carefully. Why not just put the? Do I not just remove it though? If you want to drive that way. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Like every car that has a spoiler has the ability to have because it when removed. I, when I have the spoiler mm -hmm. and lose it, it makes me pay attention more. Oh, like it. It's this weird thing of okay, fuck, spoiler's gone, focus. Fair enough. That makes sense. There's a psychological thing where your car looks arrow. It will fun. It, you will have to function it as an arrow wow. vehicle. If it doesn't have an arrow, it's uh, it's basically SOL. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Recalculating route. Where are those guys going? The fuck? Turn right. I know where the track is. <laughs> How are you guys going? Uh, I wanted to flip my car. This might be your track, Soji. God, I hope so. This is a uh, this is the canyon run, the the one with the bridges that you have to sneak through underneath. Oh yeah, I know this track. I know this track well. Oh, and uh, be careful of fighting Pike. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, like please. he's good, just. Like, from time to time, he'll just slam into the wall next to you. Or against you. I didn't make it to the thing. I got flipped too many times, so I got stuck. No, no. Finally, somebody else to take my fucking curse. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pilkey flipping curse. So. What? Mm -hmm. I can be, is a, is a, every is time, a I'll be doing so good in a race. Like the one time and I'm ahead of everybody. Oh, okay, and then I'm tumbling yeah. down the road. They'll drive by and it's like fucking watching cars all over again. Dock huts and just... Well, it is Copper Canyon Sprint, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm listening to a classic song called Loose Control by Ash. Oh, I like uh, Ash. Uh, I like the song from them, "Burn Baby Burn." 
Yeah, I remember that one. Really good. Um, yeah. So this one was uh, sent to Gran Turismo One's official soundtrack. Believe it or not, Burn Baby Burn was from the uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003 soundtrack, of all things. <laughs> it's the most unhinged golf game by soundtrack choice. Oh, yeah. Watch out for this one, Bilky. It's a really weird corner uh, coming up on your... Yeah, that one. Yep. Sorry, I hope that wasn't me that caused that. It... I was gonna be nice and say it wasn't. It kind of was. Just My a bad. A little bit of bump knocks you, me off. You're you were good. checking up a lot faster than I expected you to, and I, by the time I got to the brakes, you were already hit you. Sorry about that. Yeah, you're good. Dude, that shit was spooky. I could hear you running my <laughs> The one sector I hate. I'm flat oh, right I'm now. Spot. This area, I mean, this coming one. With my handling, no problem. It's not the fact that I have handling. I have handling, but I just really don't know how to tackle that sector. Well, that's what I mean. With this car, I don't have to worry about it. It's so slow, but so grippy that I can just... Pr I had to tap the brakes a little and, like, coast through, but it's fine. Posting this. I'm just tapping the brakes to set the front, turning it where I want it, and it goes there. Yeah. Tap brakes, drop your nose, and then fucking rip it. That's the first time I've been lower than fifth gear this whole race. The high, the the hairpin. hairpin. Yeah. Lies. You start in first gear. Other than the start. Like, once I got to fifth, that was the first time I came back out of it. Sure, yeah, this Nissan performs decently well. It just really misses the acceleration. Like, holy shit, this is slow to pick up. Like, that... That VQ motor is not good for racing. It's a VR. It is not... Oh, VR, yeah. It's not good for racing. I am, I am a proud Nissan owner. You will not refer to the VR as a VQ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't is, want the engines. That is sacrilegious to call it. Yeah, that's... One is a All finely right. tuned piece of twin I'll turbo V6. Well. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, did really you did. well. Like, you went from last to fifth. Sorry about that. I never meant to... You're good. Alright. Uh, finally, I got that Porsche. I won my car! Oh, wait, Lancer! <laughs> Woo! I wonder if I can steal the fuel tank out of it. Mine's leaking in real life. Put a oh, full, full tank of gas in it, and now... And B keeps having accidents everywhere I park her. It's not good. I got a Aww. Ford Falcon. Nice. Poor girl. Poor girl. Yeah, I'm working on a solution to it. I'm probably going to try to drop the tank and use some seal all on it. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, keep just... hunting for a new that fuel was... tank. I was going to say, like, there is... Um, there are stores out there. Like, I already gave you the... I already gave you the uh, this, this resource, but nobody's what the fuck? nobody's got anything available. I hate to say. Hey yo, this Porsche you could equip the V8 hybrid from the 918. <laughs> that's what? That's bizarre. What? How did you not get it yet? Because I got it, but like, I got it when we did the other shit. Well, I wasn't here for that. Remember, I had to leave. No, I mean the stuff we did. Ah, uh, well, I don't. Like, I got it from I... that. No, I think I raced less. I wasn't really racing too much on the uh, 
I mean, unless it was where you left on that last one. Yeah, it was when I left. Why do I have to... I don't like this particular, uh... Challenge where I have to do a drift zone in an Audi TT. Is it a dirt drift zone? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's fine. Does it matter which one? Uh, oh, so G, when possible, I still want to show you this fucking BMW. Oh yeah, let me let me try to run. I, I'm two points away from getting the car, and I can be done with this whole thing then. So let yeah. me see if I can finish this off real quick. Come on, Porsche, please. You are the pit. Say, do you want to run with us? No. <laughs> Not in a million years. I just know that I can't... I can't get this to S, S2998. The fuck? Ugh, come on. What do you want, Mr. Porsche? What do you want? You want me to turbo swap you in your stock? Okay, I'll give you that. You're I'm still not... ADHD brain. So, do you, when you were talking shit on hybrids earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Only reason I would ever do anything hybrid is if I took something like a good truck <coughs> and added the battery and stuff on. I mean. And you... if I did it, I would run it like the fucking race cars they're doing now. You know, for the. I very, should very very bottom in. I like should say off. my prejudice against <clears throat> hybrid and electric vehicles is for road going vehicles only. Race cars with electric or hybrid technology I'm all for because race cars are designed to be money pits that you throw money into forever. My gripe against ra uh, against electric and hybrid vehicles comes when they become passenger vehicles to the unsuspecting consumer who thinks, wow, this is great, I'm saving so much on fuel, and then all of a sudden they need a $10,000 repair they can't afford. Yeah, this car's a dud. I, I'm i actually disappointed. I'm disappointed with this 911. Oh my god. Porsche! What the fuck? Porsche my just sent me this. Why do I eat so much soup? Sometimes we want our inside to be extra wet. Please don't fucking say that. I mean, not wrong? Question mark? But, not right either. It, it may be wrong, but it's not in correct. I guess? The statement, the uh, crazy. The statement is not false. Wrong. Could be worded differently. Crazy. Crazy. So, Soji, when you get done with that, I'm on the, uh... Are you at the roundabout by the big jump or the roundabout over by the ocean? Ocean. Ocean, got it. You know what? At least I'm gonna try and fight it. I'm gonna try. Okay. Wait, I gotta look at my thing see if I'm still good on that one. Where is it? I'm bringing the brand new 2023 911. There it is. Eaterboard. Fuck yeah, I'm still high on that one. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't see hey, you Sadie. over here. I got a, uh, fucking speed zone for you to check out. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the speed zone. I'm just gonna try and keep up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I, I want you to just look at the leaderboard for it. Uh, fine. El Gancho. 
it's over by the Colossus. It's a dirt one. And let me see this. Speed Zone, Eliacho by Colossus. Uh, All right, I'm dear fucking Lord Jesus Christ. Pilkey, I'm here at the roundabout. I don't see you anywhere. <laughs> I'm not at the roundabout. Yo, Pull up to the one curve. <laughs> Yo, this guy took an aerial S2 Nomad, a fucking buggy. At S2, this is an S2 buggy. Oh my lord. <laughs> You're the fastest in my friends list. Yes. Yeah, and you you passed Team Nuts. Team Nuts is in Team Wars. I don't know what that is. No, Team Wars teams are like stupidly cracked when they race and they do shit here in Forza. They're 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 cracked, but what the fuck? <laughs> I can go fast, question mark? What roundabout are you at? Oh, you're in that roundabout. Yeah, I'm up on the curve where we were sitting when we did it the first time. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, nobody's loaded in on my map. I can see Sadie, like I can curve? see me. Why? Here, I'm gonna go down a bit are and then you, come back. Are you, are, you, are you near the danger sign? What danger sign? Is it the sign? danger sign? No, we're filthy. No. No, I'm not on the danger side sign. Mm -hmm. Why aren't y'all up here? What roundabout are you at? Not at the roundabout. Like, you know the fucking intersection? Like the off ramps and stuff by the festival. Off ramps by I'm the up festival. At the, I'm on the, yeah, I'm on the curve right before them. Off ramp by the festival. Oh. We are. Oh, you're talking like the intersection, not the roundabout. Yeah. Hang I'm on. just on that side. I'm, okay. I'm jumping in. Sadie, I see him. I see him. He's near the. He's near the trailblazer. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I definitely know you're gonna walk me off the launch. The fucking van! No, I retuned this. I retuned this. Right. It's gonna be a simple 60 roll. Once we hit the road that goes under the highway, then we go. Okay. Okay. Alright, go for it, guys. Line up. Line up on. Line up on 60. Line up. It's gonna be a long prep, so at least try to line it up. Watch out for any cars. It's basically on speed limit, basically. Alright. And. Load it, load it. Watch out for traffic, of course. Whoa, what the hell? That's a lot of traffic. Wait, how fast is this thing though, going? Mm -hmm. I just hit fifth. I've been in I... seventh mo I've been in I launched in fourth and I've been in seventh. But I'm tapped out on I drag now. First. My first gear stops at fifty two miles an hour. So I was having a little trouble uh, getting the speed right. First gear stops at eighty. I'm drag limited to two oh fives or two oh two. No two oh five. I'm drag limited. This is as fast as I can go. This is my fastest accelerating car for this. Two ninety. Oh God fuck! Fucking damn. Okay, this little shit is Man, stupid. You 
See, this thing's one weakness when it comes to this stuff is the bridges. Yeah, you're gonna roll up. No, 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 no. I mean, like, the humps starting or finishing the bridges. Oh, shit, yeah, I, I just... flipped my car. <laughs> there yep. you go. Thank you. But, yeah, that that was running 290 on this thing. I was like, what the fuck is this thing? What the hell? The most unassuming little shit. The most unassuming little shit. This is what it is. I flipped my car. Yeah, I can't believe what happened to this thing. It's pissing me off. Look hey, what it did to my amazing SUV. It's all flat and weird looking now. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. My melatonin's kicking into overdrive. Okay. All right. I will All right, say. Thanks, guys, if you no, want. I think you may win this one. I'll get. I say, I will give you a five-second head start with this car because I want to blow past you, and this is the fastest car I can find in this game. Have you ever? Ah, uh, we're about to find out. I don't remember. It's been a long time. I know. I know it's above three hundred. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. That's two hundred. It's two forty. Two fifty. Two sixty. Two seventy. Oh shit, this is a crap, this is the wrong tune. This isn't a top speed tune, this is a handling tune. Well, that sucks. This car may not catch you because it can't do 300. It's only doing 278. You have arrived at your destination. Yeah, you probably won't catch me. How fast are you going? Uh, I ended up having to hop back over the median. So, at the moment, fucking 265. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to catch you. This, but this, this is the wrong tune. I didn't realize it had the wrong tune on it. This goes 270. Yeah, this is supposed to... This is 282 right now coming down the hill. But this is also... Well... I assume you're about to stop right there. Keep in mind, this is 280. Oh, shit. I wrecked that car. Hang on. Car. Yeah, watch this, though. Keep in mind, this is 280 miles an hour. See, something I love is, thanks to me loving anything with an engine, whether it's you know, a jet engine or anything like that, like jet engine, fucking rotary piston-driven engine, anything. Mm -hmm. If it has an engine, I'm down for it. I also play D&D, &D, so I know the exact speed of mock and I know what spells to use to get it. Makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna run. This is a... I'm gonna run I mean, this one real quick. I can run you in my Yesco. Oh, yo, that Yesco that is be fast. A... Yeah, grab that out real quick. That'll yeah. be the last race of the night, because it is now five minutes till my bedtime, so... This thing will have to be a roll, because rear wheel drive it will not hook oh no i get that i don't know if this is rear or all wheel in this yeah this is all wheel drive okay yeah from a dig this thing spins through third like i would have to be in fourth from it damn here let's do this let's pull out block traffic so we can get a little bit of a running room here all right, ready? Just for reference, this is third gear.
fucking double decker. We'll come. We'll go back and try it again. I saw you hit the bus. Yeah. I don't know why I said fan. You know, this is third from a rolling start. Damn. See, they gave us this Koenigsegg. Now they just need to give us the new family car hybrid that Koenigsegg made. Oh, the Jamera. Yeah, you know, the fucking family car with 2300 horsepower. Yeah. Well, I want the Koenigsegg Yesco Absolute, the wi the non-wing version. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Now, correct me that if I'm wrong. It is 60. It is 60, right? Yeah. Pretty much as close to 60 as we can get. I'm right on it there. Eighty to ninety. Mine's building a little slower. That's two ninety five. Three hundred. Three oh three. Three oh four. Three oh five, maybe. That's three oh five in seventh gear. Going up the hill, I'm gonna lose a little here. Six. I think they nerfed this thing. I'm sitting 301. I'm 304. Car. Wonder how far this thing can fly. I'm gonna hit the ramp at exactly 300. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah. 2,280 feet. Somehow I've done 3,300 there. Or 23, yeah, 3,300. Oh shit, I see you coming. That is obnoxious. What's my record for this one? I cleared that house, so I'm pretty proud yeah. of that. My record for this one is 3,100. Damn. Yeah, this is my, this is third gear standing start on launch control. What's my third on launch? I know on a roller start, it gets rubber in third on a roller. It's ridiculous. Ah, uh, here you go. With launch control, right? Yep. Jesus, that thing's a tail happy one. Oh, yeah. That's the one thing I don't like about it. But no, uh, for reference, like, before you go, on your map, pretty much goes south of where we are. There's a dirt speed trap pretty much in between the two barn finds, the one for the Ferrari and the Viper. Um, Viper. El Galancho. Water splash? Ferrari and what? Oh, El Gancho. Yep, I see it. Open the leaderboard. What is your top speed on it? I've never hit it before. Never hit it before? Nope. That one with the trailblazer uh, next to it, I've never hit either. I have on three. The lever board, or on the leaderboard, what is the highest friend you have on it? Uh, Kuroshine, 89.61. I am number 6,575 in the world at 101.28. Damn, that's impressive. In a S2905 Aerial Nomad. That's impressive as hell. Ugh. That's fast. In all technicality, I'm in the top 1%. Ooh, yeah, no kidding, especially with all the hackers and stuff, right? Yeah. 
Hell yeah, man, like, that's awesome. I used to challenge myself and just go down through it and see at what point it becomes realistic. And then I'd base it off of that. That makes sense. I mean, everything's got... Seeing people go like 360 on something, I was like, yeah, no, that's bullshit. Yeah, no, that's cheating. You know they're hacking. <laughs> Phew. Here's that, or they do some glitch to just send their car away at mock speeds. Yeah, you know that ain't happening. Alrighty, I gotta call it a night, so I'm gonna go ahead and raid out, but thanks for playing with me, Pilkey. Much appreciated, and oh, yeah. hopefully we'll catch you again next time. Uh, maybe. Depends on how tired I am after work. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. I, it's not gonna be tomorrow. I got a league race on iRacing tomorrow, so if I feel like racing it, it's a lot of energy. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Uh, either way, have a good one. I'm going to sign off the Discord call and uh, go get some sleep. All right. Later. Sleep well. You too. Sleep. Night. All righty, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to make sure I get Viri pulled up here. Uh, and we're going to go raid her because she's the person I know that's on. So have a great night, everybody. My name's Soji, and I'm out. I will catch you guys on the next one. Good to be back. Can't wait to show you all what I've been working on, but um, until then, I will uh, get back to streaming like normal. And, yeah, like I said, once I'm able to show you, all, show you everything, I will be updating everything as it goes. So... Have a great night. I'm out.